Okay, we are officially live. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, five minutes early, we can talk about whatever. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, um... So, I was watching the, um... Oh, uh, by the way, that you know that uh, did you see the dog with sunglasses on there? No, I don't. Think oh, okay, you weren't watching the stream that, that long, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, uh, that oh, is the guys. well. You see, um, Rags no longer creates content, which is sad because uh, he's really good at it. He needs a long, long, long like video maker, like very long. Mm. Um, oh, and he. Okay. And he teamed up with Mueller, the another long video editor, and they um so and believe it or not, um uh Rags went after I hate everything on his uh, last Jedi video. <laughs> <gasps> I know. <laughs> like <laughs> and um so that's how they met because they both had la last Jedi videos that were really bad. Oh look, Ed Floor's here. <laughs> Oh, is he now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, apparently, because I'm, I'm, because I'm looking at uh, the stream on my iPad, but I've got, but I'm in Discord on my phone. <laughs> I love the Butterfinger. He's like, get out of my Butterfinger. <laughs> oh, is is the little GIF thing him? Oh uh, yeah. Um. So, uh, the the GIF is Bilbo trying to take the ring. But instead, it's, right, it's, right, uh, yeah. Instead, it's he, Butterfinger. He's, you can see how, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I get it. For, okay, yeah, I see um, that. If he can get word, his yeah. butt in here, then we can begin. Yeah, he probably doesn't like us talking about it, but he doesn't know. What is it? Know, <laughs> um, I think he'll, he said he'd be here at five, so he's very poignant, I guess. He's he's typing. Mm -hmm. like, uh, no, don't say hey hey. You get in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> get in the chat lazy <laughs> come on get, get, like, get in here get in, in here get I here's <laughs> I'm not going to edit that get get I in yeah, ears dude. get right. I in ears <laughs> right uh, it's not five yet. He's gonna say, "Watch, watch." He'll... What do I click again? Ah, uh, learn how to internet. You just, dude. It's just put, okay. Here's put what you do. General. You um, you go to general, and save some time. I mean, um, general chat room. Click internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh. Click mouse. Mouse to click. <laughs> what do you want, man? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I think I figured it out. Yeah, you did figure it out. Yay. Yeah. It's almost like it's intuitive. Yeah. Well, I, I, I never use Discord. Um, so it, like, like um, that's like saying I don't know how to use Facebook. How do you send friend requests? Like what? It. Like it took, <laughs> it took me to figure out how to tweet. Um, so, <laughs> well, don't. It's a, it's an awful place. Yeah. I, so, uh, I I to tweet that I was a fan of a thing. Of a, of a thing, yeah. I was a tweet of the thing, like, and people would be like, which one? <laughs> All right. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna be on. I can't see Discord now. I'm on the. Um, I'm on my channel. So, and I'm looking at. Um, so I have this GIF of. Uh, Bilbo trying to take the ring, except it's Butterfinger. Okay. <laughs> He's like, never lay a finger on my Butterfinger. <laughs> oh, he has that really geez. scary face. Yeah, kind of like the face that, um, because yeah. of all the stress that Bilbo has endured from the ring over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But we can't start there. That's that's the that's later in the film. Right. <laughs> well, um, here's the question: Are you are you talking about extended editions or just the, uh, um, the well, theatrical um, release? Well, both. 
because it, uh, uh, Kevin yeah, did not I'm watch sure the extended both. edition because he is a poor fan. <laughs> oh. He's like, I'm poor. I need extended. <laughs> extended? Because I never saw the extended version. I don't know how much oh, longer it is compared boom. to the original. <laughs> Yeah, it's the um, definitive edition of each Lord of the Rings is the extended. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, I mean not unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate if if you haven't if you haven't seen it. Like, oh I'm yeah, not saying you um, it, it, I, I, you get a chance. I will say this though: the extended editions are not as good as the extended editions in the later films mm. because of uh, um, fellowship. Yeah. I'll say there, that. There's a lot more. There's a lot more um, backstory for Argon. Um, I yes. think that's kind of. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, it's true. I don't know. Yeah. It just feels like that. Um, the extended version of Two Towers and Return of the King have a lot more. Uh, oh yeah. Have have a lot more purpose in the one, the Fellowship, because one of the extended yeah. scenes is uh, Frodo's in the bar and they talk about um, with 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 Sam and. Um, Mary and and Took are dancing on a table, and they talk about like there's war coming, and then he goes home, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like uh, it's 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 a lot of little scenes from the books that just didn't they they were too long for the oh, movie to hold. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. um, right. too too long for theatrical release, I should say. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they they pushed the bounds of theatrical release at that time. Uh, hmm. Anyway. Oh oh yeah, <laughs> like but yeah. man. They, oh my gosh. And of course, they're kind of in a hurry as well as, um, but man, no scene is wasted in, um, uh, in, in this, in the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like, I never felt like we don't need this ever. No. <laughs> Agreed. Completely agree there. Yeah. Every scene has its purpose. Every scene makes its point. Mm-hmm. Every so. scene has character moments. Even like yeah. comedy bits are like, are about the character or something. You know, yeah. like, I feel like. I feel like it would have been possible to do it without um, without a lot of the the lore. Uh-oh. Um, no. Like, well, no, no, no. <laughs> Let me tell you what I mean. Not that the lore doesn't exist in the world, um, but that we're being shown the lore because from the viewpoint of like Frodo and them, they never saw you know the ring of Sauron get cut off and. and... Well, that's what Glandril the Glandril is there for. <laughs> Yes, and, and that's the thing is we can as viewers, if we're looking to kind of tighten the film a little bit, we can accept when when Gladriel says, you know, I was there when the ring fell. We don't necessarily need at the beginning of the movie a ten foot battle scene leading up to you know what the ring is. I, um, not that I don't like it. I hundred percent disagree. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like you can't convince me of that. Because it's only eight minutes long in a really a nine hour movie series. Like, yeah, whatever. Sure. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's by okay. really quickly. They don't waste their time. They're saying, hey, look, hey, look, there's Elrond. Like, okay. And then there's, and it tells about the story really quickly. Like, in fact, um, the context for why they're, uh, they're at the war is not even mentioned. It just says there's the last alliance of elves and men. Like, why is there a last alliance? We well, you don't need to know that. Like, this is correct. So, so it is definitely a balance of like, what do mm, what do we as an audience need in order to care about this story? I it, guess. In fact, mm. a short story about how like, well, you see, um, Sauron had a had a fey form, and uh, he 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 looked like an elf pretty much, and so he went in secret to uh, to get the best elven smiths to make. Uh, the rings of power, and then give them to the greatest of men, dwarves, and elves. And then he went back to Mordor and said, I'm going to control the greatest of the races because I'm going to make my own ring in secret. Mm. Like, oh my. And so that's how he controls all the other races if he ever was like to ever gain a foothold, you know, in the world. Mm. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, just look, just looking at fellowship, um, thing is, is kind of, you know, what, what we're, what we're doing. Um, did you want to kind of walk okay. through the story? Yes. Uh, uh, or is sort that what of, doing? Yeah. Because, yeah. um, I think there's important enough of stuff where the, uh, the base of the story is needed. Uh, yeah. because 
Uh, <coughs> really, after that, you talk about how um, it's kind of funny how like uh, Bilbo is actually writing the um, the Hobbit <laughs> because um, I listened For to sure. the audio book of the Hobbit, and it says concerning hobbits. And I'm like, oh, no, it, it's absolutely the the mm. the original working title being there and back again, a Hobbit's tale to mm. to the book, the Hobbit. The, it's a hundred percent inferring that Bilbo is the author of the of the original book. Not only that, it's... I think I think it, it it's fantastic because it accounts mm-hmm. for the difference in tone as well, because the Hobbit is very different tonally than the Lord um, of the Rings. Yeah, but it's also very similar. <laughs> Okay, what? I'm just saying that, yeah, they just, I mean, granted how The Hobbit is, yeah, it's, it's it kind of, it's its own story in itself with, you know, that, uh, you know, with how things came to be and all that, so. It, it's also oh, how, yeah. um, very similar in tone because of, yeah. it's how a little person shapes the future of all, all of Middle Earth. Right. Well, from- for for the story, the story is very similar. For the tone, though, especially yes. the book, yes. um, it, it's more like The Hobbit was more uh, folklore. Um, as right. what it, uh, like, it was as a folklore. To, there was know, a sense bit. of danger, but not to the scale of what is yeah. going on. There's no, like, there's a battle of the five armies, but there's no, like, <sighs> war really in The, the Hobbit. <laughs> It, it, no, it's the story of, of Bilbo and and how he mm-hmm. finds courage and it's just you know, about world and, building about uh, uh, about yes. his his uh, how Tolkien's world is. Yes, <laughs> the, I, I'd agree with that entirely. It feels like the the book that he wrote, um, just to kind of explain away Elvish and all the other uh, things that he was working on. You know, it's like oh, here's a little world, you know, like D and D. Someone's right. peeking a lot, like on their mic. Peeking, peeking. Is it static? Yeah, a, a little bit in the end, but that no, I don't know. Um, okay, it seems to be fine now. So not as good as it should be. I'll oh, it's keep... fine. Um, no, okay. What I do, what I do like is that uh, this lets the Bilbo be a narrator about hobbits at the beginning of the film because this is our first introduction to J.R.R. Tolkien's work. Really, is the Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. So it, this lets us go. Uh, hobbits are they want. All they want is peace, and they love to till the earth. Like, yeah. but they can eat all day and smoke weed, and that goes to my favorite. And it goes to my favorite EFAP lines of, of all time to come Lord of the Rings. It's like, hey, if you want to know where the best weed is, you go to the Shire. <laughs> uh, um, I I really like the there's um there's a shot of them as they're going through the shire they're doing that mm-hmm. they're kind of setting up who the hobbits are yep and like he shoots off some fireworks for some kids yeah and like there's the two grumpy people and the grumpy man starts smiling and he's he like, looks yeah, over and that's cute and no. the wife is like that's not cute you shut up <laughs> he just gives them the he look. immediately frowns so i'm like oh poor guy yeah and we see gandalf <laughs> he's really a um chummy guy i mean he's special when it comes to the bagginses but he's he's uh um, he definitely takes a notice to these hobbits, which are mostly f- forgotten about by the rest of the world. Like, yeah. um, and um, he's uh, Gandalf is more protector of the um, western side of Middle Earth. So he def and he taken a liking to these hobbits because um, Gandalf didn't want to be held down. He's a, he he he's a wandering guy, you know, um, and. And and it's Bilbo's birthday, which is why he's coming down with his fireworks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. Yeah. Um, I would agree. Yeah, I would screen. agree <laughs> with that for sure. Um, I think, I think that he's been going on adventures with hobbits for longer than we know. Like we know, like Belladonna sure. took, uh, and other others like Man. that that he's been on adventures with. But I think for some reason, it, it's kind of the mentality of like he can't necessarily dedicate too much time to adventuring but he mm-hmm. likes the idea of adventuring yeah. so he like puts together these groups and and the hobbit is always kind of the heart of the party the heart and mind. the uh, in the rogue element of it not not in the stealing aspect but the kind of like yeah you didn't expect that did you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that that bilbo um was never really meant to be a thief oh, i no, think no, that, no, no, that no. he was the a heart burglar. of the party. that's what they needed <laughs> 
Yeah. Even Bergman. Like, I, I think that that yeah. was just an excuse to get him on the party. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, um, well, it's kind of funny we're talking about The Hobbit, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything to add over there? <laughs> I hope you're, I hope you're still there, Kevin. Do you have anything to add? Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't realize you were talking to me about that, but um, <laughs> just, well, just because it, it's a little tough to know which which one of the two of us you're talking to there. Falco. Oh yeah, so, I know. So, like, what do so, you just, think? <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. Just, um, just yeah, kind of, you know, just kind of like the whole lore of what uh, Lord of the Rings is and all that. Oh my gosh, thing. it's so deep. You know, <laughs> it is. It is. I mean, you get. Well, they talk about, you know, the Nine Kingdoms and all that. So, because again, I had to kind of go back and refresh a little nine bit. Nine Kingdoms, today. huh? Today, so. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was Nine Kingdoms, they said. Nine so. Kingdoms. It's very much, um, yeah, I mean, that's the one thing Tolkien will never be accused of is, is a lack of world building. I think the, oh, yeah, the story absolutely. is almost just an excuse to that's show why family off hates his, it. his world. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> they're like, there's not enough world building in this movie. And like, did you uh, read your dad's book? <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's not going to uh, be like that. <laughs> you got to adapt it somehow, and they adapted it pretty well. Um, to, if if I were to be honest, uh, yeah. Of course, I've never read the book, but I've I've seen so many essays on it that I'm like, oh, okay, this is what they changed. This is what they kept in. And oh yeah, there are no. It, it it's definitely the spirit that is kept in. Mm. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, no. That it's it was the first of um, the trend of books that that they brought not the start to the big screen. Yeah, not not oh. the start of it. I wouldn't say because the Exodus came out way before that. Um, but well, sure, there there were from time to time. But in, but in, well, okay. in, in yeah, those days, like, yeah, it didn't really happen it. this way. I yeah. mean, it was so grandiose and and taken so seriously because yeah. all these characters are grounded in some emotion and definitely an old speak. You can tell it, it, it takes place in the foreign world, even from the main characters, because they speak yeah. in a way that's very old English, sort of. And especially the yeah. when it comes to uh, Gandalf and the Hobbits. Um... <laughs> Uh, Frodo is a very innocent uh, uh, character. Um, he 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 thinks he knows about the world because he knows Bilbo. He read his books and all this stuff, but he's definitely an innocent character. Um, he he um, in fact when he's in uh, he's in danger, it's like this big surprise that I, he he doesn't know if he really wants it or not. Like uh, that's why this is uh, a part of the story to uh, the trope of the hero's journey. He is reluctant. Well, at, uh, yeah, he's reluctant at first, but then he knows this is the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, which, which is ironic because honestly, um, I have always felt that Sam was the protagonist of the story. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Not in the beginning, no. Sam was actually well, the one who was like, in, in the beginning, I don't want to do this. In this, even more so than Frodo. So Sam Sam didn't want anything to do with the ring, but oh, no. Sam's objective, which never changed, yeah. was his love for and desire to protect Frodo. Yeah, um, mm. and that that's really the oh yeah, absolutely. Story. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's so emotional. But I think we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. <laughs> but <laughs> right um, now, uh, so we have so, game. So it's Gandalf at the birthday party in your in your narrative. In, Is that what we're talking about? In my narrative of Lord of the Rings, Gandalf <laughs> there, I guess. <laughs> I don't I know. know. There's some old guy. I, I think that's him. <laughs> but yeah, he's What's called uh, Ginoff the Grey. He is one of the, I think, six wizards in the world. Um, let's see. There's white, gray, so. brown, and the two blue. And the two blue are like, uh, they're somewhere in the equator. <laughs> they're dancing. There you go. <laughs> what was it? You got gray, white... The two brown. blues and the brown. Is so, that it? One, two, three, four, five. Dang, I was off by one. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, there might be another wizard or two out there. Yeah, they're like, in Tolkien's universe, the wizards are like angels, servants, yes. or whatever. Yes. Um, but, uh, but that's not really important to the movie. Because that's never really mentioned. It's... 
it's 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 um uh, it is mentioned but it's not a focus of what happens in the movies gandalf gandalf just is i think that it's accepted that he, oh, yeah, he yeah. is like gandalf is not he's not like other people who come and go no. gandalf just is part of the world you can definitely tell um, he's here to help he is not there yeah. to be be a hindrance to anybody mm. Yeah, he's um, also just there to hang out and, and enjoy the oh, little yeah. funny moments of life. It, oh yeah, I, I I do have to say, even though um in the movies timeline, or I should say in the main timeline of our universe, that this Lord of the Rings came first, and uh, <laughs> but I still get a sense of friendship from from Bilbo and Gandalf. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Uh, he, he goes up to the door and he knocks on it. And he's like, go away. I'm like, I'm not accepting family members or, or close acquaintances, you know. He's like, what about very old friends? You know, and he, <laughs> and as soon as he he thinks it's Gandalf's voice, he opens the door and he hugs him. And they have this, like, really in, in, endearing moment. Yeah. And he invites him to his house for uh, tea, I believe. And Yeah. And, and before that... Frodo gives him a warning about Bilbo. It's like um, he's doing something in there. He's looking over old maps. He's 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 fiddling around, looking for stuff. And and during this time, we see him fiddling around like he's looking for something, but he realizes, oh, it's in my pocket, and it's the and it's the ring. Yes. And, um. And uh, and as the audience were like, is that it? <laughs> like, is is that the one ring? <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> Like, are, are we, we sure? sure? I I think that the um. I don't think. I think there's something that this movie had going for it, which is a an audience that already knew the source material. And I'm not talking about seeing the movie, uh, reading the books, but there was the cartoon. There was like. Oh yeah, it, yeah. I I need to it's see. Very that. hard pressed to because find somebody Sam who is at so least annoying in that know. movie. Oh. <laughs> I like this. The elves are very jolly folk. No, but I think you're very no, no, hard not that one. somebody who doesn't know <laughs> the basis, the basic idea of the Hobbit, right? So yes. you're you're kind of you you have that audience yeah, already. So true. when you introduce Gandalf and Bilbo, we already know these are old. Friends. Well, uh, you know? Willow the also made us. So um, I think made an audience as well for Lord of the Rings, and it, f- fantasy has come a long way since. Uh, the early 90s um, and oh, so yeah. I think this was the right time to 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 put it out there for a, for a worldwide audience and like in it oof man it's 16 because that I watched the trailer for Lord of the Rings and I said that looks like crap <laughs> oh the cartoon no 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 the trailer for Lord of the Rings for for like... fellowship of the Rings the movie it is terrible. Really? It did not sell me at all, <laughs> but uh, yet so I loved I... it. <laughs> so, well, for sure. let that be a lesson for you in trailers. <laughs> That's right. Except Never for Ghostbusters 2016, that, that counts 100. <laughs> <laughs> percent um, Oh, so yeah, all of this with with Bilbo and and Gandalf in the house, just kind of sharing tea and and, the, and he bumps and his head. Stuff. I think that was real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> probably because like here's the thing some of the stuff that happens in the movies are 100 percent real oh yeah like oh yeah like um you know when uh aragon uh finds the body burned bodies in the in the second movie hmm. and uh, yeah and he, he kicks he kicks that thing and he broke his toe yeah and he goes ah and like uh vigo <laughs> uh, like uh so so the vigo there was and cut like uh um, Peter Jackson was wow, that was a great take. He's like, ah, oh, my toe. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, yeah, like, oh my gosh, no wonder, no wonder it sounded great. Like, <laughs> so he probably really hit his head there. <laughs> yeah, well, I know they definitely. Um, there's a lot of really interesting visual stuff mm-hmm. here where it shows. You he's know, they've human. got the smaller house. Uh, and... No matter if he's a wizard or not, it shows he can take damage he's he's a he's a physical being you know <laughs> sure that makes yeah. sense yeah um it shows him snooping as well he's like mm-hmm. so <laughs> so you're doing this 
You're, you're thinking of leaving. You know, like, you can infer this from their conversation and, and from looking at the place. Uh, he's concerned yeah. because right. of well, what Frodo yeah. said. Yeah, now you, you, you definitely can tell that Gandalf can read Bilbo's uh, body just by... Body because language. Of his adventure. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, just because he's been with Bilbo for so long that he can... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Without that's a good point. any kind of just, you know. So. Yeah. And then so he think, shows off his magic. <laughs> I think it's definitely inferred that even after the uh, the events of The Hobbit, that Gandalf continuously came to town. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. He Gandalf. comes almost every year. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, um, in, think, in, in, in the books, in fact, he made fireworks before, um, uh, before even The Hobbit. He would come by. He would come by Hobbiton, and just uh, fire off fireworks of the hobbits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. So uh, he shows off his magic uh, smoking. You know, he's like, I got, I got a smoke ring. He's like, oh yeah, I got a smoke ship. <laughs> and since they were it's high, like they're like, what the heck is that, man? <laughs> I remember, I remember having that spell in the old, um, me too. the old RPG. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's called precip precipitation now, isn't it? Well, you're thinking of pre uh, pre precipitation. You can do that. Just say, "Hey, you look at the smoke could. fire. Yes, it makes yeah, a boat." Could. Like, okay. Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's me. just general manipulation with. Magic. Yeah, exactly. And Kevin's like, "Uh huh, sure." <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I never played the game. Yes. Oh, it, yeah, well. Understandable. Well, it's just yeah. one of those things. That, well, I can't wait till it gets to the Underhill part. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So then the next scene is the party. Oh, yeah, because like, they bring in that huge cake. Well, I'm like, jeez, man. And they never cut into that cake. I bet that's fake. What? Did you say I bet that's fake? Or is it that, fake? That, that cake is fake because they never cut into it. No. I bet, like, that's fake. That, well, even if they, yeah. I think even because they had know. so many takes, like, why would we keep making a cake? Yeah. <laughs> like, they, I don't know. Most of the things that you see in movies are fake. <laughs> like, look at that fake yeah. cake. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just strikes me because it's one of the first things you see is this huge cake being one with all this fruit on it. And I'm like, okay, sure. Now, to support my point um, earlier about Sam being the protagonist, the first <laughs> bit of character development we get from any of the Hobbits is Sam dancing with uh, oh, with right. Rosie. Yeah, because she's yeah. like, he has a crush on her. Yeah. And uh, he's and, like, that's Rosie did that. And like, into her. dude, yeah. Frodo yeah, and... is a bro. He's like, he pushes her, uh, he pushes, he pushes her, like, oh, what'd you do that for? And yeah, he pushed, like, he and pushed suddenly Sam, Sam just defends her, honor. her I did it yes. for you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a different scene. <laughs> uh, Frodo uh, just and goes got... and pushes Rosie. Oh my goodness, I forgot this. We got Miriam Pippin stealing the dragon. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get blackface. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. <laughs> they are, um... Uh, these two are honestly just such a good casting. Oh yeah, like, Mary, that's Mary one thing Pippin, I know about the, um... About this movie, the casting is so good yeah yeah <laughs> yeah look i got a message <laughs> um yeah and then everyone's freaking out because they think that it's, the, it's a real a dragon, dragon coming. yeah yeah <laughs> that's a dragon in 500 years like what is for a dragon in in the shire like what <laughs> that's the story of like that's like ender it's that's where they come from where it's like there was a hobbit dragon slayer at one point like there was a whole really? epic story yeah. well no i'm saying like we can infer from that that they're, like there's some lore that we're never quite given you oh know? yeah i actually some read about some story. of the um heard about some of the dragon stuff and i'm like geez like yeah. why didn't like the evil ones try to make a dragon out of like i mean put one of the dragons under their sway I'm like <laughs> Uh, whatever. Right. Well, um, dragons, dragons are like wizards. They're they're just part of the world. Like they're yeah, and they're all dead now. <laughs> like oh, 
I don't know what Smog. I don't think Smog was the last. I think that they. Just I believe he was. Uh, according to the video yeah. I watched, he was. He, he was one of the last. <laughs> yeah, I think because Smog was the last they, dragon. They they were too greedy for their own good. That that was one of the dragon's major problems. Like whenever there was a bunch of gold, they went to a city and just took it over. They didn't care. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that could That's explain what you do it. City-sized freaking death bird. Well, some of them didn't even, <laughs> uh, didn't even uh, some of them were crawling dragons. Like, um, one of them took over a, a again, a dwarf city, and it just crawled. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Anyways, back to Lord of the Rings, uh, the Fellowship. Yep. Hey, come on. Fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of your cool dragon stuff. Right. Um... Yeah, I mean, you go into the scene where Bilbo's mm -hmm. giving the toast to the town and playing <laughs> with the idea of, of putting on the ring and disappearing, right? Yeah, and uh, I, I I do like what he says because that, that lets us follow the clans of the hobbits, pretty much. Yeah. Because they have different family lines. And and Bagsons was actually pretty well respected until Gandalf came around. <laughs> but now they're filthy rich. So you know, Oh, they're filthy rich, trade -off. but they're like your troublemakers. We don't want troublemakers uh -huh. around here. We love our peace too much. Like, that was their problem. It was never because they were troublemakers. It was because they went out into the world and made trouble, which could bring it back to them. Yeah, that's valid. I mean, if you if you have somebody who is an adventurer at heart, um, Someone, they're going to get into trouble. Yeah, like some, because you know... they have Took and, and Barabrook around, and well, they get into trouble, sure, but they don't do it... Uh, they do it within the Shire. <laughs> like... Yeah. Um, yeah. Which so, sets them up as troublemakers, but also mis m mischievous troublemakers, but they're also like um, thieves, I guess, of a sort. <laughs> well, I think that they're also very young for hobbits. Yeah, like, I think that they're supposed to be teenagers, basically, by, by our counts. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. They're he, troublemakers. He takes the ring. Thieves. <laughs> He yeah. takes the ring and disappears. And then Gandalf looks at his weed and he's like, that crap is strong. And then... <laughs> and then he's well, like... Yeah. And he appears back in his home no, before Gandalf he knows. It's yeah, great. Gandalf is already there. He's, he's like, like Whatever, you think he tricked uh, me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you can see, as the camera zooms in towards Gandalf, you can see... You can tell just by the look on his face that he knows what Bilbo's planning. He, like, he knows yeah, yeah. exactly very what Bilbo was thinking. <laughs> oh, come on, Gandalf. Just a bit of fun, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and he's like, um, so he gets his stuff ready, and he's about to go on his journey. And he's like, "Do you want to part with the ring?" He's like, he's "Like, like, can you?" It's like, "I can," but also I can't. You know, like it's almost like he's again Why like turning in the golem himself because it's almost but, like he's but... talking to himself there for, for a moment. Well, that's a hundred percent. Yeah. Mm. Um... Because... The ring is exert. It's pulling on his own um, inner darkness, which Bilbo and and subsequently Frodo mm -hmm. have none, mm -hmm. and so that's why. Or not that they have none, but they have very little, and so that's why he wasn't twisted, and Frodo isn't. Mm -hmm. You know, twisted. well, it's harder for hobbits um, to get twisted in that because they have no desire for power, greed, or influence. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but even Gollum, Gollum was a, a Shire folk or yeah, something. Yeah, but he was, was outside. He was not yeah. in the Shire. He's um, he was actually kind of. It looks like he was dumb. <laughs> like that's one. Like, too yeah, simple. I, too I simple. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why he he just wants it. Like okay. <laughs> but um, it's it's both. Well, my my thought is on that there, Paco. Just my opinion there, man. Um, just because of, um, you know, what the ring had done to Gollum, and you know, because in the in the later movies they did say that he was a Hobbit at one time. Oh yeah, and you know, it it just co it corrupted Gollum to this poison. being that he is now. Yeah. So. And I think Gollum had we can assume had more darkness in him to begin with. Oh yeah. Because yes. even right oh, after yeah. finding the ring, it it talked him into killing his own cousin you know like like he's it like took i want it it's mine Damn it. yeah he's dead <laughs> well he was um, a river hobbit 
um, no. or whatever. It was a um, a different kind of of Hobbit. Um, it's like a it's like a sub race of Hobbit. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Basically, kind of like like, kinda like, how, you, like you might say like a like a cousin or there's elves really and there's well, wood elves. I'm like, yeah, so... okay, sure. <laughs> What I was in high elves. Yeah, no, you definitely have your sub races, you know. He, mm-hmm. he doesn't, yeah. W- which is all well. You're not good. a pure um, hobbit. We can't race you in the hobbit races. Negative. But moving on to <laughs> moving back to the story. <laughs> I think I think uh, we were we were just about to uh, Bilbo. So, aren't you forgetting so he's, something? Um, yeah, he's he 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 has his twin personalities, like mm-hmm. uh, almost at that time, and he calls it his precious. Yeah, and he's like, um, it's before. been called by that by somebody. But not by you. He's like, I think you had that ring long enough. And here's where we get like the the very first moment. I think we see Gandalf as like, see when you first see Gandalf in the movie, he's very chummy, he's very friendly, he's he's dancing, he he entertains the kids. You know, it's like it's almost like he's a magician. But this is the time where he goes, don't mess with me, okay? I am yeah. not just a conjurer of cheap tricks. And he's doing it to, like, knock some sense into him. He's not doing it to rob him or anything like that. He even says it. And he's trying to help him out. Right. And, yeah. and and then you get a hug because he knows what he's doing is wrong. And like, it's almost like, um, I hate to use the drug thing, but yeah, it's almost like he's addicted to, like, a certain kind of drug. And he... he yeah. And this is his detox moment. Yeah. This no, is his I, yeah. Um, intervention. Yeah. <laughs> An intervention. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a detox moment. But, but <laughs> yeah, he's not in a room. Kind of, uh... Help! <laughs> <laughs> well, because even later, like that, when um, when Frodo and when Frodo and Bilbo are in Rivendell. Um, oh, you mean that? Bilbo one? mentions. Mean... <laughs> he, he says like, um, "Don't take my butterfinger." I very much. No, no, no. He says, "I'd very much like to see it again." You know. And oh so yeah. He's even like, then, I, the, the effects of addiction. I want to hold you know, it. Yeah. Really <laughs> He's like, yeah. "I want to hold it. I want to see you undress and hold it, please." I'm like. A... <laughs> like... <laughs> so, uh, anyways, <laughs> he goes. Um, so even when he leaves, he's like, um, "You still have it." Your your, yep. your 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 other personality is blocking you from seeing that you have it, and he's like, okay. And so the way um, that the ring falls on the ground here. Well, um, behind the scenes, uh, look at it. You see, they have a magnet underneath the floor. Because well, and it's also it's also big. I've seen the the production, the one they use for this, mm-hmm. and it's not ring size. Like it's a big, solid chunk of. Oh metal yeah, they, I forgot. Okay. I forgot. Mm. Okay. The ring changes size. Um, you see, if you ever watch Fellowship of the Rings again, which you probably should because it's amazing, um, <laughs> when a sealed door has it, because you see, the, you see um, uh, what's his face is huge. Uh, Sauron is a, a big guy, and he has a huge finger. And so when a sealed door picks it up, it actually shrinks to human size. Right, right. And I'm it, like, oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. Change. Yeah. Uh, the ring has its own personality where it can change yeah, size it's... on the on the wearer. Yep. I just call it uh I call it D and D magic item rules. You yeah, know, exactly. You, uh, it's yeah. gonna fit you. Where it just fits whatever the owner dog. is. So if you had a yep. dog, it would fit the paw. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and then the the yeah, then you get a really sweet scene of Gandalf walking out with Bilbo, and yeah, and he's like, yeah, I, I'm saying, never I want to go see the elves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like, actually, he's doing it for two reasons. He's doing it to, to, to get away from his family who was bothering him all the time, and to find peace and quiet so he can finish his book. Well, and I think, you know, he wants to grow old. Um, he, he kind of mentions yeah, because, that a couple times where it's like, I feel old. So I think that he knows yeah. subconsciously the only way he's going to get to to grow old and die normally is to get away from from the ring. Yeah, and mm-hmm. um, yeah, because as soon as he lets go of it, he's like, "Oh wow, he's like Bilbo again." <laughs> and uh, yeah, he does grow old, even when he meets the Mervindel. Like it's probably months later. Because yeah. and he looks he looks ten twenty years older. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> So, so, because of the awesome scene of research and, and 
in development, you know. <laughs> Where? Well, okay, wait. Before you yeah, get I to know, that, I know. I was going to get to Frodo. The ring. Mm-hmm. Well, no. When when Gandalf picks up the ring, he taps it, and it's the very first like, like, <laughs> moment. In it's the like, movie. oh gosh! It's like boom, flaming eye. Yeah, he's and, like, and I need an eye shocker. Like, uh, <laughs> it's it's like when you have finished red eyes, here's some clear eyes. <laughs> like, oh, love that. Ben's, um, Ben's done yeah. like a great game off. <laughs> what are you talking about? Then, are you showing then, up, yeah. pass? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so anyways, uh, yeah, he uh, he tries to pick it up, and then he goes to smoke some more because he's he he's thinking. Him. I know he's not smoking. He's he's actually thinking about what to do. And I think he's definitely doing both. <laughs> yeah, as I have oh, he's doing things. both, sure. But I bet he's trying to clear his mind. But like um, that weed ain't going to help. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, Frodo walks he, in. Yeah. yeah, and and he's like, "Oh, I just picked up the ring." That's it's, it. That's just because like, there's no. Well, he there's says no like he says sword. keep it in this envelope, and he does. Like okay, so we know to. We now know that this is the one ring. We're just waiting for everybody else to catch up. <laughs> That's correct, yeah. Also, and, in the books, um, oh, this no. is the course of several years Oh yeah, that Gandalf has left the Shire. Oh, yeah, because, but like, how far really is um, um, Minas Tirith? Like, uh, <laughs> it's like uh, 500 miles or something? Like, geez. <laughs> and this is, it's of course, crazy far. Egan, Summer, and, um, mm-hmm. Shadow Facts, right? No, he doesn't. He has he has a normal horse. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I think this is before he can summon Shadow. Fox. Yeah, because that happened when he was getting off the white in the movie, at least. Yeah. So, um, and plus, uh, things in the book you never see. Like he meets with the brown. Um, he doesn't actually meet with Saruman, and <laughs> like, uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff. You know that, what I yeah, mean? It's kind of skipped over here. So which it's kind like fun. it makes sense because. Oh yeah, and also you see um, what 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 was the fate of Gollum? But you don't know it's Gollum yet. <laughs> Shia, back in. Uh huh. And then you see the nine, which is they have the great track. I think we knew it was Gollum because uh, at the beginning of the movie they had a flashback to Gollum in the cage. Sure, but you don't know it's actually him. Connection. It's it's confirmed when he says it. Um, when he says it again when he comes back, you know, yeah. of like oh. <laughs> um, the creature Gollum. The creature known as Gollum. I search everywhere for him, you know. And then he goes down into. He goes. If that research probably took weeks, you know, uh, down there because it's probably like, in in the t- in the tomb of the tomb of the tomb, you know, of 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 this ancient library. <laughs> yeah. And he had his own dungeon yeah. adventure down there. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. There, there, there is a story there. Um, sure. That, that's kind of grand scoping. He's like, oh no, um, which bats. is not that significant <laughs> to us. So we, we for the movie, um, mm-hmm. just kind of show him run off and and do it, and then you know it's oh, could yeah. be could be a week later, could be a month later. We're not okay. 100% um, sure. I don't. <laughs> and so, like, and and not only when he gets to Minas Tirith, he he sees that there's active something is going on in Mordor. And you can yeah. see it from the sky. That. That's right. And he's like, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> then like, we see the ring race for the first time. Oh, yes. And that track is beautiful. And, um, and like the, nine, yeah. the Nazgul. They're so cool. And they are yeah, so sorry. cool. I know I know. I, I like to play Edgelord on a lot of these games, but... Oh. Um, <laughs> There's just something so cool. We about haven't gotten to the race. best monster in the film yet, so. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll move on. <laughs> so, um, if if you ever want to add something, like stop me. <laughs> stop. 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 Add time. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, brought to you by Snickers. I mean, I mean Butterfinger. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that gif over it. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> the uh, so he comes back after like an extended edition. You know, they're, they're the hobbits are talking about um, there's something going on near our borders. 
Because believe it or not, between the Shire and the rest of the world, there's actually rangers that patrol the place. Sure. And, and that's where Aragon is kind of is, you know. Mm. Yeah, he, he he's one of the rangers for sure. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. But I'm like, oh, so and the reason why they have rangers there is because the Witch King uh, uh, ha- had a war there a few hundred years ago. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> So that's why that's there. <laughs> but uh, well, I think the Dunedain are just kind of the the protectors of the land, basically. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because, um, well, one of the big reasons that the Witch King won a war there and he burned the land. He's like, um, we can't have this happen again. <laughs> um. Yeah, so, but so anyways, so, so what? You know, we get to the um. We get to the scene where the the ringwraith is like interrogating the townsfolk. Well, yeah, <laughs> dude, just tell I can them see that he's like right away. Sit down and rap <laughs> with me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he just said like, "There's a good guy and the bad guy, Nazgul. They're playing good cop, bad cop." <laughs> One goes, Rah! "He's like, I'm sorry about my partner." Like, <laughs> goes, you know the the, I just the can't the hold them back. <laughs> like. Mm-hmm. No, that's not what happens. What happens is, like, they're on the road, and um, he was like, Shire, Baggins. He's like, um, it's, 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 it's uh, that way. <laughs> like, uh, you go that way. Because um, uh, they have a, a fear aura or something like that, or, uh, or something of that nature. I know they have the oh, black absolutely. breath, yeah. uh, but they're, they're obviously not using that. <laughs> So then uh, mm. Frodo comes home after a night drinking with Sam. Yep, and Sam and, uh, walks him home because he's a buddy. I think he worked yep. for him. I think Sam actually worked for them. Well, Sam is Frodo's gardener, but they're yeah, also yeah, just yeah. best friends. I think it's. I think it would be more more okay or more political to say that Sam is was Bilbo's gardener, um, and and sure. him and Frodo were friends, and he just continues the job even though Frodo's not there. Are you Are you still there, Kevin? Are, are yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just like it's, Sorry, it's true. Dude. It's true. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's, uh, you're like, you dang know, it, you're I, taking all my points. <laughs> well, yeah, but because uh, you know, because I was just gonna bring it to the point of uh, kind of like, you know, talk about like Sam being the gardener and all that kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, sure. Yeah, because you did see, like, the point where, because it, it was shortly, I, I. I kind of forget where exactly in the it's one of the movie was, but like, um, you know, where Gandalf, you can see his the the look of fear in his face as he's giving the ring to Frodo. So, mm. but you can see how he's he seeks or hears all this rustling going on outside of one of Frodo's um, windows, and it, he pulls and he's and, it, and it's Sam. And he's like. Uh, I forget what Sam's last okay, name okay. is, but um, he's... Um, I, sure. I, I know that whole scene, but we, we'll get there. You see, I think what happens is, is that um, Gandalf walks into um, um, Bilbo's place without Frodo knowing, and I think mm-hmm. Sam saw Gandalf walk in there, probably. <laughs> That's how he knew the spy. That's my only right. conclusion. Like, <laughs> And uh, I don't know if that's inferred, <laughs> because I'm like, why are you there, Sam? <laughs> Well, I'm wondering if um, Frodo, like, made a noise. Because Gandalf pops up behind him. He looks all disheveled. Is it secret? And is he it says safe? It's like, he is afraid and, outside of his mind. Like, And so I think Frodo might have hmm. been like, holy shit. Oh, you know, and so Sam just happened to hear him. He's like, what the heck's going on in there? Like, did Bilbo uh, come back? I should spy. <laughs> like, should okay, sure. Like, well, if he's not there, he can't be in the plot. I hate to say it. That's just true. Yes. But you know what? I will forgive that because it's an awesome scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so anyways, he's like, he goes into this deep chest as like, and and you see like him t- turn away from the chest and Gandalf is like, huh, huh. He's like looking around. He's very paranoid. And and he's like, yeah, because he just found out that the, one of the worst items in the world, it's like, it's like, um. It's like you have, uh, there, there was once a zombie plague. And then all of a sudden you realize that somebody in like um, somewhere else in the United States has patient zero and it could start all over again. You'd be like, um, we need to go there and do something about that. <laughs> like, 
I don't know. I'm I just not, made I'm that up. Not sure about that. Now, I, I just made that but... up. But you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> you just realize that like this is the pit to hell, and we need to do something about it. Like, sure. like something like that. Hey, look at Sunnydale. Mm. <laughs> so, right. it, so, so. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. He he's like, uh, here it is, and he throws it in the fire. And he's like, <laughs> Frodo was like, the heck, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just find that funny because I was watching the um, the EFAT version of, of of Lord of the Rings, and I'm gonna keep mentioning this because it's hilarious. It's like. It's like some old guy like surprised you in your house and took it took your stuff and threw it in the fire. <laughs> like okay, uh, uh, so it's like he just throws it in. He's like, and of course, like it's it's quite cool. And I'm like, which would have been really funny if like like ah. said that and the front was like, oh man, it's it's like, well, never, that, never mind. That, that would have been kind of hilarious. But... It's no. it, it, it cuts to the scene uh, at the end of Return of the King where his hands are bitten off. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> uh, but anyways. And then Frodo. Like, the thing about Frodo that makes him such a good character oh, thank um, you for saying that. is kind of, he, he knows what's going to happen. Like, he yeah. says, it, I think, he says something like, it's on me, isn't it? Like, I have to take him. And he's just got this kind of, like, broken heart, you know? Like, I just want to live here uh, and be happy. Bilbo said, like, he has a adventurous heart, but he's in too love with the Shire. I, yeah, okay, I'd forgotten that line, and that actually sums it up perfectly. Because I think yeah, Frodo loves exactly. the idea of the outside he world. He says that to but... uh, Gandalf earlier on before he leaves. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Like, oh, that, that, that explains it. Like that really does, yeah. because uh, every scene has a purpose. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> there you go. And so, um, oh. uh, not only that, it's the um, uh, it's like if um, he's like, you take it. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't tempt me, Frodo. And if he yeah. did, um, yeah, it would be a terrible idea. Like. <laughs> Like imagine if uh, someone as strong as Gandalf held the ring, it, it the uh, yeah it would go. Uh, Gandalf would be the new Dark Lord. <laughs> yeah, which is I mean it's an interesting concept. Like what because because mm -hmm. the thing like Galadriel kind of infers is like I would try to do good. Yes, but through that but much through power, me, it would be it bad. Would be yeah, exactly. So he right. would he would conquer Mordor, but it wouldn't matter. He would just take his place. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, and, and in fact, it'd be worse <laughs> because he's ganned off. Well, I don't know. It'd be worse. I think it's probably. Oh yeah, like it Colorado. would be like, oh my gosh, yeah. it was like someone's thinking bad about me. Pillar of fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh. Fair. <laughs> oh, poor Frodo. And so he's got a he's got to go on an adventure. Yeah, he so really does. Our, our oh, and here's where he comes to like. Get down, Frodo. He's like, oh, there's some chicken in the... Th he like, and he and he's like, haha, I got you with my stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, also, <laughs> like, Gandalf being, like, a thousand-year-old hardened warrior, why did he not just one-shot Sam? Like, why was Sam not just dead? Um, like... <laughs> he hits him with a <laughs> stick. <laughs> well, but my point is, like, we see Gandalf fighting with one one hand sword, one hand staff, in the third movie, and he's a beast. Like Gandalf sure. is, he's been around forever. Yeah. If he thought that a ring wraith was out that window, he would have, bam, you know, <laughs> taken like, it down. Gandalf, what have you done? <laughs> I it was a ring well, yeah, even in the first movie, towards uh, you do see that, yeah, Gandalf does. Do that very same thing, actually, even in the first film. That yeah, he can fight staff and fight sword at the oh, same yeah, time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. He usually goes big whenever the threat is is equal to what he needs it to be. Like yeah. um, right. Because I wonder if he has like a, a pool of magic, and he's like, I can't waste it. <laughs> like, but I don't, I don't know. As Gandalf the Grey, not, he probably does have a I'm limited not amount of rank magic. Movie for them now, so. Yeah, you sure. have a point. <laughs> like, I, like why? My point is like, I'm this hardened warrior. Let me tap you with my stick. Like, <laughs> like okay. So Sam gets pulled in, <laughs> and he's like, Sam Wise, Garnet, have you been eavesdropping? And he goes like, I haven't dropped no eaves, sir. <laughs> like, that's <Yeah>. great. <laughs> dropping any eaves. <laughs> that is a that is a great line. 
That is indeed a great line. It is a great line. <laughs> it's like it gets me every time. I'm like, <laughs> like I, I want to use that <laughs> someday in a real conversation. Like, were you listening to us? No, I'm jumping the wheeze. <laughs> Very good. Life goals, you know. You're like, they're what? important. And he's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so um, he's like, uh, don't turn me anything unnatural. That's real. Like that is yes, that's fantastic. And now, he's like, I, I, think I thought of a better use for you. It's like, oh no, what are you gonna do to me? <laughs> so I think it's interesting that like we are like at this at this point where mm-hmm. they they team up. Oh yeah, right? we've got our adventure. We've got Sam and Frodo our goal. Are... Yeah, we've got our goal and we've got our no, kind of starting we got our party. Destination we're already first. It's we're three, already thirty six right? minutes into the movie. Not six yeah. minutes, really, because uh, it's eight 30, minutes for the 30. intro, and then it's yeah, like 30, another 30, fifteen minutes or minutes. something like that. So I'd say about oh, thirty so minutes 30 into the movie. Thirty-six minutes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's like, I mean, a huge chunk of time before we even get and to the. And it's still the just the introduction. Picture. Like, yep. yeah, like, uh, like that's the thing. It's like all oh, this is world building, and it's super fascinating. Like. Yeah. Um, so you have this great sh- uh, shots in the land, and I'm like, yeah. Even the morning shot when they get together with their horses and stuff, and the next morning, I'm like, wow, that looks beautiful. <laughs> it's purple right. and yellow. <laughs> and so um, they they go and they go. They said, stay off, stay off the main roads because they're going to be using them. And they have spies everywhere. Don't trust animals. You see that guinea pig? Can't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> You see that caterpillar? Can't trust it. Can't trust it. Well, and then you get Gandalf rides off on his horse to go, uh, I guess, attend other business. Yeah. And you get this interesting thought shot where, like, Frodo looks for a moment terrified. Oh, yeah. And Sam is just like, come on, buddy, let's let's, let's get go. going. He's like, I want to see the elves. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah, because Sam yeah. did want to see the elves. Oh, yeah. And then when he gets there, oh, yeah. he's like, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Shire is wonderful, you know? It is. And that's one of the big things about, like, because if the enemy gets control of the Shire, uh, all that beauty pff, is going to be burned to the ground. Yeah. Also, how does Sam know what the farthest step he's taken from oh, the Shire? Oh, yeah, that's is? true. Like, that <laughs> like, it's like, they pointed that out. Yeah, that, that line. <laughs> that line where he's, yeah, it says, I mean, I go one step further and this will be the furthest I've ever gone from home. Do you remember so, that no. scarecrow, which huh? doesn't work? <laughs> With the crow sitting on it. Yeah. yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> He's like, hi, how's it going? Oh, uh, yeah, but yeah, with the three crows just kind of pecking at the scarecrow. He's like, ah, how's it going? We're not really afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and there, and, and that speaks. To another thing is that's the same scene where you see the car in the background. Oh no, where? Oh yeah, um, it's been edited out now, but oh. there's a car. Uh, smoking in the background, it's a, and it, it's in it's on the far right, but you can't I, see it, but it yeah. is there, and people pointed it out before. Fair enough. I see smoke rising in the back. I thought that it was like a smoke uh, rises a from, chimney from Mount Doom, <laughs> like my pipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And so yeah, he goes to see um, Sarmon the White, which is really um. How do you not know he's evil when he's played by Christopher Lee? Well, Gandalf doesn't know he's played by Christopher Lee. I know, Lee, but still, it's like, ah. And I'm like, you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> you're evil. Like, he's Christopher Lee. You can't do it. it it's, a, it's a shame that, and the story, of course, was written this way, so you have to do it this way, but, like, in a world building, like a modern world building, you'd mm-hmm. think that we would have gotten more time with Sauron the White as, a, as an ally. In order for us to feel the effect of his fault. Because when we meet him, we're like, True. oh, you serve Sauron. Fair enough. Yeah, you know, we never get well, the, the companion. It is quite a great trap because Gandalf trusts him, like, with all his information. Like, yeah. he just yeah. lays it out. And and uh, he's like, we need to act quickly. And he's like, how much time do you think you have? And, like, and so he lays it out, his information. but not. But the last part, he waits until he's inside. And I'm like, wow. That was actually beautifully played by uh, Saruman because he's like, mm-hmm. And he's like, 
And even since, and Saruman even says, he's like, you're too high to notice anything anymore. <laughs> the, yeah, the half, the halfling. Things weed what has is addled your mind. Weed is, addled your saying, mind. Yes. <laughs> he's like, you're too high. <laughs> like, okay, fair enough. And he was like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> he's, um, like, he's like, you should drink more alcohol like me, Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, then they have this this weird little wizards duel where they're just I, smacking each other around with yeah. force energy. With yeah, right. with uh, because, it's still a good scene though. Yeah, it is. It's still like, a good scene. And like yeah. when he um when he takes his staff, I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> Why? Why? Right, yeah, where he's he's got his staff and Gandalf's. It's <laughs> and you can see just the I mean, green, green, it was. <laughs> A sh- fairly short battle, but you could see the, you know, just how he was. He he just toyed with Gandalf. He yeah. Just toyed yeah. with Someone... Gandalf was just utterly out. G- of Gandalf was going to lose, but he he did defend himself. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, he's uh, not going to go down without throwing a few punches, metaphorically. But, but no, he got he was outclassed. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah, and like, so if it the way of pain, and then he spins him around to humiliate him. Uh-huh. And that spin is and so then... unnatural. It's kind of unnerving. Like, mm, <laughs> mm, like <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> but yeah. not in a bad way. It's like, oh my yeah. gosh, how did they do that? <laughs> like, right. <laughs> like, right. That's a, I imagine like, it's a, a it, practical effect. It really is. I'm like, how did they do that? <laughs> like, yeah. And like, uh, and then he spins around to the top, and I'm yeah. like. And everyone has the same question about uh, about the tower. How do people get up there? <laughs> well, apparently Saruman puts your ass up there. That's how. I know, but still, in the other films, like Saruman's up there, Green Wormtum is up there, and like, how do you guys get up there? Like, is there mm-hmm. a hatch? Like, <laughs> I'm sure there's a hatch. No one would build a tower without a hatch. Yeah, but then Gandalf mm-hmm. could get down. <laughs> so I'm like, and when he goes up, there's no stairs. I'm like, how do you get up there? It's like, what's going on? <laughs> well, I think that there's a lot more. Like, this is just the center chamber of the tower. I think I, I just, there's probably it, uh, rooms on it's the It's just a. It doesn't really matter. It's just like, mm, yeah. sure. <laughs> like, you're up there. <laughs> and Gandalf wakes up and he's like, Do, do I do I sense landscaping? <laughs> like, okay. Fair enough. And uh, 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 that's later on, but still. Mm. Yeah. Well, then you get to, you get to the farmer chasing them. The, with the, Mary, yeah, Pippen. yeah, Mary, and I'm like, and the, again, mischievous. And uh-huh. like, they would have been okay, in fact, if they haven't run into them. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. No, they, they <laughs> like, would have gotten You away idiots with are <laughs> with the fellowship of the ring. These two are um, uh, always get them in more trouble, which leads to deaths. <laughs> like, well, and, and by the end of it, both of them find their um, mm-hmm. their own honor. You know, their yeah. own. Oh, oh, yeah, place. absolutely. Return of the King. I'm like, these are probably the some of the best characters in 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 the later films, especially in Two Towers. They're like, we're gonna go mess up Saruman. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, um, they fall off, and he's like, I think I broke something. It's a carrot. It's a carrot. Like uh-huh. okay. And then you get you get like a poop joke also where Mary is like, Oh, that was lucky and there's a pile of poop next to him. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like Yeah, that's it. It's like uh, mushrooms. And he's like, idiots, don't you guys like it's food, okay? I get it. You're hobbits. <laughs> like, trying to figure out if they can make a stew. Yeah, yeah. Well they're oh. always about food and he's like I and Frodo's like, I think we should get off the road. Get off the road. You know, because yeah. Ganoff said get off the road, but then like you he senses the um the impending uh, loom of a ring race. He's like, get off the road, you idiots. He's like, okay, and okay. And it's interesting that all of them, they just do it. Like, nobody's yeah. like, because, what are you talking about? Oh, is that right. because, like, right. There's no questions it, asked or nothing like that. Well, Frodo's they just... know Frodo. And they're yeah. like, if he didn't if he didn't mean it, he wouldn't have yelled like that. So we're just going to follow. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> you get your first kind of close-up on, on the ring race. Oh, right yeah, here, baby. <laughs> the... The the uh, the horse has nails in its feet. <laughs> no. Yeah. And the, all the caterpillars and centipedes and stuff. And centipedes are and spider. Right. And right. like. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and like. Yeah, they... you can see how the two were trying to 
not scream to. And like, yeah, I'm like, the spider would have got me. I'm like, no. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. And like, and then it's like, um, because even a natural life doesn't like these things. Even the gross things are like, when small, like, what does Xander say? When, 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 uh, when other scary things get scared. (laughs) It's time to run or something. It's time to be scared. Or something like that. Yeah. And this is that like little bitty moment. It just senses the ring and 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 that that's um I guess the the ring itself is is tempted to is tempting Frodo like hey you, you need to put me on because I want to be found. Right. Yeah. Cause remember that's what Gandalf said is the ring wants to be found. found yeah. Yes. It wants to call out to those and then they do something useful. They actually. Um, throw it off the trail by throwing a backpack or something. Sam, yeah, Sam once again being the hero. I think uh, that was uh, backpack and wakes I think that was Frodo. Pippin or two, wasn't it? No, it was definitely Sam. He reaches across. Yeah, and, yeah, and it was Sam. Okay, okay, it was Sam. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he kind of smacks Frodo while he's grabbing. Oh, That's what snaps what? Frodo out of it. Oh, okay, you were you were in my A for a second. That's fine. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, you were gone for a second. Like poof. Yeah. <laughs> like man, it's been an hour already. Yeah, it kind of broke up for a second. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, but, but got the logist of what you were talking about because yeah, Sam. Because you can see how you know, yeah, Frodo bring grabs the ring. He's 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 just about to put it on when Sam just smacks him and grabs a backpack and throws it Dude, to Sam. kind of throw throw that Dead specter line. off. <laughs> And not only that, like, um, I do like how Took and Pippin are, like, um, one's the dumber of the two. <laughs> like, I forget which one's the dumber one. But the, the, the other one is, like, knows everything in the shot. Because he, he actually goes outside adventuring. You know, at, at, at least they do. And they're like, we need to make it, we, like, we need to make it debris. And he's like, we're going to Huckleberry Ferry. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we have a plan. All right, to get away from the yeah. ring race. And if it wasn't for those two um, being in the group right then, I don't think they would have ever actually thought of the river. Hmm. Yeah. Because Mary and Pippin are definitely um, a boon to the party for sure. Like, as much trouble as they cause, like, a lot of it is really not their fault. Like, for instance... <laughs> Some um, of it is. <laughs> like, uh, like when Mary not. knocks over, when Mary knocks over the, the helmet that's got the chain attached to it... And the bucket... I I don't feel like that. I, that's not. I don't know. It's don't an like accident, it's but it's still his it fault. Is. Yeah. It, it's 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 accidental. Yes, but it's still his fault. But he, they do they do a lot for the party too. Oh yeah, so absolutely. I'm not saying they don't. Like I'm not saying they don't because they their payoffs actually for for their characters happen later on in the other movies, and that's really yeah. great yeah. that they actually thought that far ahead. So, I like the so you get to the door and there's two windows. One so they one can for see hobbits, the hobbits one, one for one, one for tall folk. Uh huh. And like hobbits, full hobbits. And like thanks, you can count. <laughs> <laughs> like, which reminds me of a, a a line from a video. It's like uh, where the other four are. I don't know. It's like those are hobbits. <laughs> like, mm. Cause she, she's she's talking about the ring race, but he's talking about the hobbits. Yeah. It's like those yeah. aren't ring rings, those are hobbits. No. Yeah, I mean you kinda of, kinda of be honest there, Falco, you kinda of skipped a little scene there actually. Because yeah, uh, you know, the one, cause one of the scenes that actually sure. made a lot of of their journey to there was uh their meeting with like the elves and the dwarves and the yeah. oh. humans and all that about who's gonna take the responsibility of taking the ring um, to, to you know, yeah, to um, Mount Doom. Sure. To throw okay. it into the heart and destroy it. And that's when, for, well, everybody's arguing, including Gandalf, with everybody, how you just hear Frodo, because he gets that, the ring gives him that sight of vision of what Mordor is, I guess you might say planning or, or a future to be type of thing and you hear Frodo nice 
and you just hear Frodo just coming up and saying, "I will take. I'll it. take the responsibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll take it." Order. Now that, of course, um, I, later. that's much later in the movie. That that's at the um, it's the end of this movie. Um, more or no. less. That's at the half mark. <laughs> like uh... so the half, I'd say, it would be closer to the end than the beginning. But that's that's when they're leaving Rivendell, not the Shire. Um, so mm-hmm. I see, I see what you were jumping at. But that's that's yeah, um, sure, sure. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not sure. Uh, and well, we'll we will get to that. I I promise. Or at least I will. <laughs> if you guys want to leave, I can do it by myself. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like I, so I, I have to clock out at oh, six thirty. Um, you got to clock Bye. out now. Greetings, Seek. No, oh, it's 6.30. Oh, hey, Seek, how's it going? Um, but if we get to that scene, that would be perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a good stopping point for me, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because you, you have family in life. Hmm. <laughs> and um, uh, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so that's fine with me, but we're definitely going to, I'm definitely going to see this to the end, because I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not a coward like Frodo. Sure. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. He tries his best. They're just you're a prancing a, pony. You're the you're the Boromir. You're a flawed member of Goodman. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's worse. Hey, Boromir's a great character. Who's all in the voices? Uh, that's Kevin and Edge. Yes, you are correct. Yes, yes. It's three of us. There's it's, it's, it's the three of us, and there's actually three people. <clears throat> uh, next time, I need to get Katie in one of these. <laughs> <laughs> If you can, and if she shows up on time. I'm not a sexist. I have a woman. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, oh, she don't care. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, but that, yeah, that uh, so, anyways, they, um, the yeah, we didn't miss the part where ah, the writer goes yeah. onto the bridge, and he's like, mm, there's water. <laughs> I can't do it. And apparently, like, uh, ring rates don't like running water. Because yes. it's pure. Hmm. Well, or I think it's also or something, to that effect. something to do with the L. Oh, hey, Ed. Um... <laughs> so, sorry, um, I'm saying hi to chat. Ignore me. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I think that, that later on we see um, Eowyn controlling yeah. the water. It, um, I think that, that yeah, it's uh, the L. I thought you meant control, she's, trolling like, the, uh, <laughs> she's trolling the ring. Yeah. Race. And she's like, lol, you can't catch me. It's water. <laughs> Fair. So right, I mean, uh, right, right, you know, right. I mean, it, it is pretty cool how she kind of, how the water kind of, instead of a surge, it looks like it's a, you know, it's a, a stampede of forces. I, yeah. Yes. It, yeah, it's some so, kind of. That is a good touch. Because she's a she's a dexterous person. <laughs> but but I think before we get sure. that far, I have. Uh, yeah, we're in Bray at the bar, um, which is which is such a weird like it's a mix of like um uh, yeah it's you know like, you've got the cheerfulness yeah. the music the dancing and then every once in a while you'll look over and you'll just see aragorn sitting in the corner just staring aragorn? at them strider yeah. okay aragorn yes, strider i yes. i i i grow my tree and they drop aragorns <laughs> okay uh strider you, we, we see yeah. strider yeah. hanging out in the corner um, and, and, and he definitely is set up as a villain, right? Sort of, shot. or mm-hmm. a mischievous character that we may not trust. Well, well I think he's, I think he's kind of like the, Han Solo if he was dread. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean not Han Solo, dread, dread. I'd say it. it it's the camera I angles and everything. <laughs> <laughs> makes it it makes it out to feel like he's there, you know, maliciously. Yeah, he's like, mm, like he's an <laughs> enemy of, like you know, he's he he's a spy for yeah. for the enemy, or and, sure. and even and even before that, like it's a very uncomfortable place for the hobbits because <laughs> they go through the streets and they're like, oh my gosh, this place is huge, especially yeah, for that's... Frodo and Sam and everybody else. They're like, geez, so this is what the other world is like. It's crowded and. I feel small. It's bigger than we are. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. It, it 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 it's like the world hits them all of a sudden. Like, oh, absolutely. I mean, you're you're out of the country for the first time. You're in the big city, even though it's just Bree. Yeah. But for them, you know, it's, it's, it's like a big this city. place is big and it's not yeah. friendly. You know, mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's not the country. Yeah. Right. Right. Because um, you know. <laughs> Especially when Frodo comes up to, I get, what would you call him? Like kind of the, 
the keeper of the place or something like that. And yeah, that's the about, this is old woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the innkeep about, you know, <laughs> about them meeting Gandalf, and he stated, you know, Gandalf, Gandalf, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Pointy, pointy head, big, big beard, scruffy beard. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen that guy in six in, months. What do you say, like six He's, months? He said uh, six months, and I'm like, oh, it's been six months. So we get like, oh, we right, get, we get right. an and just frame. a look of. Because you can see that, because they were sent, to, I think that, yeah, Gandalf sent them there to meet him at that <gasps> place. Viewers. But, Yay. you know, but when they realize Gandalf's not there, that's when things are like, you can see the look of despair on Frodo's face, like, where do we go from here? Yeah, this was supposed to be very short. You know, this is my objective, Gandalf meets it's us. It's just Bree, yeah. And then and it then changes. I... <laughs> and then it changes again. Well, uh, and unfortunately whoa, whoa. in the bar, we get one of the most unrealistic <laughs> shots of the entire series. Uh, as much as I love everything about this movie, oh, yeah. the, the ring of flying into the air and <laughs> yeah, just happening like, mm. to land on his finger. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, that could be, um, if I was to try to defend this scene, uh, yeah. I, I would say that, like, oh, the ring flops itself into the air and it's like, okay, I need to, I need to have an excuse to put it on. And the ring just somehow just like, oh, yeah, put me on. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, like it wants it's... to be put on and it dro- and it draws itself to the finger. But, no. yeah, that's stretching. Like, it is stretching. Like, it, I get the idea that that's exactly what's and happening. And is like, ring the is heck? To get on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, what have Strider's I been? Like, oh. And he's like, what have I been uh, smoking? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Frodo gets his Stuff. first glimpse of the eye. Wants to, wants to be on the finger. Exactly, see, yeah. That, yeah, but, exactly. That, that, exactly. That, I was about to still, say that. Uh, so, but... That's shaky. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll agree with that. It is a very awkward scene, but if you're in the... But if you're in, into it, it doesn't even cross your mind. That's it's for sure. Um the first 500 times we watched this, it, it was uh, like, incredible mm. everything. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, mm. <laughs> and then they get the scene of like, he sees the eye like fully this time. Mm-hmm. And yes. it's like, Oh crap. He's like, I see you. <laughs> like, Oh, <laughs> and he Strider enters. The, um, so if people don't know about T- token Lord, there's two realms. There's the physical realm, which we see with our eyes, and then there's the, um, it's not called the spiritual realm, it's called the sleeping realm, uh, which is basically um, how elves, like, from the different, from, from the west look, you know, like, when Orwin shows up, she's glowing, you know, mm-hmm. that's the light that comes from, that's her coming, it's, it's to help Frodo um, come back to the light, ba- mm-hmm. basically, Um and so that's what's happening to Frodo when he gets stabbed. He's he's going into the sh- he's going into the dreaming world to become a ring wraith. Hmm. <laughs> nice, uh, as one does. And so when when he puts on the one ring, he enters the dream realm where he sees, and that's how he can see the uh, the true forms of the Nazgul. Hmm. So, anyways, um, so uh, and, and as soon as he gets realized, Strider's like, "The heck you doing?" <laughs> What the heck are you doing? You stupid idiot hobbit. <laughs> Get in here before I smack you. <laughs> it's it's I'm I'm not I'm I'm not being that sarcastic. He's pretty much has that attitude. <laughs> yeah. No, he he absolutely does. Yeah, he drags him and he's like uh, Not to know, be seen, or... that's a true gift. I'm like yeah. <laughs> like who are you? And he says, Are you frightened? It's like that's a weird name. <laughs> It is interesting. Like, I'm not sure even, like, now, um, why did Aragorn take him? Because he knew, because he's a friend of Gandalf the Grey, and, and he knew Frodo was going to be there. Okay. So he's so like, I, I oh, didn't okay. remember that. So, Dan, Gandalf, absolutely. So then why didn't he just introduce himself in the beginning? He was just trying to get their measure, see yes. what he has to work with. He didn't want to mess with them and, uh until he needed to, I guess. But, like, I'm, I'm sure he had his reasons. Drama. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's still really good to introduce his character as being like, yeah, I'm going to help you guys now. <laughs> like, yeah. you guys need it now. <laughs> yeah. And he puts out the candle. He, he changes rooms on them. Like, um... Yeah. And then you see the, uh... And so when he puts a ring on, like, it, it, it it's like a beacon... It's like a bacon. 
to these Nazgul. Oh, they smell it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Breakfast! Yeah, they come <laughs> busting in the door. Yeah, and then they, like, that poor woman, she gets crushed by, like, nine horses. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, oh. They, <laughs> they come into the inn, and you just see the innkeeper, like, cry. Oh, because, oh. yeah, because they're so, like. <laughs> the fear. Their aura, yeah, it's so much fear in their aura. They're like, Ugh. even mortal, even people driving by are like, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> this, okay, this is another scene where the ring rats come into the bedroom. Yes. There's another thing that, that does sit awkwardly with me. And that's sure. that the ringwraiths are tracking the hobbits. Mm-hmm. They didn't like check to see what room the hobbits were in. So they wouldn't have gone to the wrong room. Um, I'm, uh, maybe, but I'm sure they kind of knew. Because like, knew they probably got to the innkeeper room and the interrogated them for? a little bit. They're like, hey, which room is it? And Aragorn <laughs> is like, I'm going to switch rooms. Yeah, I... That's kind of inferred to me. Every time I watch it. Ring rats don't talk, man. Yes, they do. Shire, Baggins, <laughs> hand, hand yeah, over that's... hand over the, the halfling she-elf. Okay, fair. I mean, they, but I can't see them, like, having a conversation with the innkeeper. I wonder if they could just, like, like I'm going to probe your mind or I'll stab you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, By it's... I mean, you, you, you do really have to... Because this part really... It's not really important to the story, so it's kind of glossed over. You know, yeah. like, I, I actually agree. Also, uh, believe it or not, why I did agree. They... Yeah. But it's not important. Also, mm. why did they go to bed at all? Because like, they why didn't sleep? they freaking just leave? <laughs> After that night, they probably need sleep. <laughs> I guess. It just seems like, like if there's if, monsters if, if, actively. <laughs> well, they have to sleep sometime, and Aragorn is watching over them. If something were to happen, yeah. he'd be like, hey, get up. Like, okay. Mm. And, yeah. plus Frodo and they're, and they're just watching them. Like, Aragorn's actively watching the ring race out the window. He's like, hey. He's like, eh, that's what I guess. <laughs> you know those beds that were supposed to be you? They're stabbing him right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, is that all? <laughs> like, and you can hear them, too, because they go... <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Strider! They hit Aragorn, and, and, and I'm sure they did. I'm just saying, oh. it's not a real problem. It's just something to discuss. Like, yeah. it, I mm-hmm. mean, it's a nitpick for, for sure. It is absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, it's actually the show uh, how ruthless the ring rates really are, because they'll just stab people in their sleep. <laughs> I mean, it's like they do it multiple times to make sure that they're dead. Like, <laughs> it's, it's also interesting that the ring rates would have known. That there were, like, they would have brought four to kill four. Like, it's very strategic. Yes. You know, like, they're like, oh, we saw four crossing the river, so let me call up three of my buddies and we'll go do a thing. Yeah, it's like, you know. hey, me and my boys, <laughs> like That's the it. ring wraiths. Like, like, I think realistically, if it wasn't for plot armor, like, one ring wraith could easily take down these four hobbits at this point in the story. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> they want to make sure that they get that ring. No, they're like, and like, um, that's actually I like that because they want to they want to make sure that this so is going to be good enough. Because what if they kill? What if one of them gets away and they just throw the ring? Like here you go. No. Like okay, so then make sure nothing is the chance. Yeah. Which I like. No, that. I, can dig it. I like that. <laughs> and then we uh we get the the party the traveling out the montage. Morning. We can't trust Aragorn. I mean, Strider, Shh, not yet. We don't know that yet. <laughs> we can absolutely trust Isn't he, him. isn't he, no, yeah, like, don't you mean the Mekin? No, we haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like, we get oh, the whole, the whole kind of quotable yeah, chit chat about breakfast. I, I, what about sick breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah thank you. Like, Lord of the Rings created some top quality memes. Sure. In Virgo. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no, get... just, just, no, just saying, just about like oh, so many great like little one-liners and mm-hmm. all that they oh, absolutely. they put oh. in just like you know like the two where say, well, do they know about second breakfast and do they know yes. about like third breakfast or you know first lunch and second lunch second lunch and like supper dinner 
It's like because hobbits well, he, are known about food, and he's all about food. And like, uh... what's interesting is is Pippin gets it. Like where Mary's asking this question, like Pippin, like his answer is like, I don't think so. Eat an apple. Like Pippin, he he, I feel like he's always <laughs> yeah. one step ahead of Mary. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's the one who uh, is is the smart one. Yeah. I hope you guys like the Butterfinger. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> smart. I, mean, well, I think they're, they're... He, he, might be, he gets he's it a lot sooner. He's, he's wiser. Yeah. Uh, he's the plane maker, while um, the other one is just, I'll go along with it because it sounds like fun. Like Yeah. But they're both about taking risks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. No, they they want to have fun. Oh, yeah. They want to oh, Because they want to have adventures. Like, they want to have adventures like Bilbo. Mm. And uh, let's see. Even Sam is kind of like that in in one way or another, but he's like, I want to see the elves, but mm, Shire's great. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's like, uh, all right, it's yeah, one like, way there, turn around, come right back. Exactly. So uh, now they have to go to Rivendell, and he's like, even Aragorn is like, so where are we going? It's like to a Rivendell, Master, uh, Master, I can't remember his last name, Took or something, Pippin, I, I forget. But it, he, it's it's like um, to to the house of yeah, Elrond. Pip, like, has took. Like a master brigands or something. I don't know. Because so it's it's Terrigan, uh, Terrigrim took is his name. Yeah. A Peregrim took. Yeah. And then the other one is Blunderbuss or something. Yeah. <laughs> I won't go that far, but okay. <laughs> it's like their last name was after a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, and then it, you you get to the the second scene and um. Weathercock. Uh, Isengarden. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where he's um he's like, I hear landscaping and he and he wakes up. <laughs> yes, that's right. And he's he he like, We're here ants. from Home Depot. <laughs> well, you hear the ants in the background, or you hear the sound of like uh, an unnatural screaming. Um, uh -huh. as the trees are being torn down. Yeah, and he's like so this is the first instance we get of Tolkien's sort of message about um taking care of the environment because the bad sure. guys because the bad guys are all about tearing down, making lands look gray, burning, you know, all this yeah. stuff. And uh, well, yeah, industrialism is always like in in high fantasy. It's always been, you know, kind of a um, mm. something some to be them, addressed. Yes, and some of them no. Like um, when it comes to Miyazaki work, it's always finding a balance between them. Mm. Well, and that's what I mean. It's something to be addressed. Like but it's not necessarily. Tolkien is evil. like, no, it's bad. It's evil. <laughs> like okay, yeah. but it's um, like now the hobbits are right. Just be a hobbit. <laughs> just be a hobbit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and so um, so yeah, and he's like that. The roots are deep, and he's like, I don't care. Turn, <laughs> like, uh, you have all day. Like, just just You're tear right. down. Yep. Like, <laughs> he's like, okay. What is the I commit, my lord? We have work to do. We're gonna birth goblins with orcs. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Gonna be awesome. Yeah. Orkai are pretty damn oh my cool. Gosh. And they can travel during the day. Whoa. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense later on in Return of the King. Like it's clearly daylight. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, yeah, um, uh, I get um, so yeah, and then Gandalf is like the heck, like, <laughs> and he's kind of like, um, I'm also mention this to get out of the way. Uh, he talks to him off. There, I got it. He does. He does. It happens. Okay. He ta he, Man, when, he's so when lonely, you have to speak to with animals. <laughs> he's no, so he, he, he tells the moth to get the Eagles. eagle. Yeah, to get yes. a eagle. <laughs> what if the eagle is shot down? He's like, ooh, send another one. Similar to the um, similar to the dragon fighting hobbit, I think there's also mm -hmm. another story that we're not told uh, about yeah. how Gandalf first got like the well, they were in the, the right to just summon mm -hmm. eagles. What's that? They were in the Hobbit as well. Well, the but eagles. he summoned them then as well for aid. Exactly. So there's yeah. some story about how like I'm sure he like saved their princess, the eagle princess. Actually, you're some, not far off. Like that. <laughs> you're not far off, but there's no princess. Yeah. It's just that they he owes he, them a lot of favors. <laughs> yeah. Because Gandalf is the protector yeah, of the they, West. Yeah. yeah they owe of, him. Like he does a lot of good. So. Yeah. 
Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, and then we get to the... Um, I, I don't know what the name of the actual place is, but uh, it reminds me of the pistol. It, it used to be the... a... Um, of course, um, during the war of the Witch King and all that stuff, it, it was used as a way to see evil coming, but he destroyed sure. the place. Um, yeah. So it's just a... It's called Weathertop. And, Weathertop, uh, there you go. And then they said, we okay. shall be here, you know. And We're going to camp, hang and out. And Aragorn is like, I need to go out scouting. No. Oh, um, what's good, my guy? Fire. Hey, what's going on? Um, <laughs> what's going on, James? We're talking about Lord of the Rings. Um, we're, we're at Weathertop. Of a fellowship, just fellowship, not the whole thing. If I did the whole thing, I'd be here until midnight tomorrow. <laughs> so um, me and two other people, um, uh, of, of of different names. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Uh, how's it going? Hey. Uh, so let's see. Um, so it's at Weathertop, and he's like. And Frodo finally gets some sleep because he's been sleepless ever since he got the ring. Oh. Like he stays oh, up. Yeah. Like the, the the ring has already gotten to him because he can't sleep. And so and finally he gets some sleep and he wakes up and these three morons. They're cooking, cooking and, a second day. It's like we're cooking up some bacon. And like idiots, <laughs> like put up the fire. And as soon as he puts it out, re the fire police comes and it's the ring race. And it is absolutely the ring rest, yeah. And they come and, and in. you can see them so coming cool. in from all around. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Frodo sees mm -hmm. one and he just draws his blade and takes a step forward with his like hoofed boot. And I'm like, and, and that song plays. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> like, and and who's the first one to go into battle? Sam. It's always gonna be Sam. Yeah, he's like back, you oh, devils! Yeah. Like, uh, it's just like, uh. and Sam's then like whatever, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go out swinging. And the other two were like, uh, go and and again, this shows how like much they are friends to actual Frodo when when it comes down to the line of protecting yeah. their friends. They automatically they go, um, you know, they they stand side by side, but the ringers like get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cute. And then, and then what does Frodo do? Frodo drops his sword and tries to back up. Like, he doesn't even try to fight. The other three all tried to fight. But it was well, like, oh. Uh, he knows he doesn't stand a chance. And he is out of his gourd afraid. Like, he is. Yeah. He's like, I don't stand a chance. I'm afraid. I don't want to die. And he, he has the opposite response, which is the flight. You know, yeah. like, um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't begrudge him for doing that because it's ring race. Right. If you had nine yeah. nine people on you who look like that, I don't think you'd want to fight him either. <laughs> and then uh, immediately after that, Frodo forgets the first rule of invisibility, which is uh, zigzag, Rickon. You know, you, you freaking <laughs> you get out of the way. Like, you get turn invisible and then you roll, man. You don't just sit there and wait for somebody to stab you. <laughs> well, I you. think he's. I think uh, again, this is what this is down to the movie logic. Uh, we we need to see what they look like, uh -huh. and it's like, and so you see them without their forms on, and you know which one's a witch king because that one looks like has a beard. Like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I have a beard, and he's like, and he he stretches out his hand to give them the ring, like he's that tempted. The the, the, give the, the ring is like telling him you need to give it up. Like you really do, I mean, just give it to them, and you're and you're and, and you're and you'll be fine, like, you know. And yeah. he pulls it back just in time. He resists, and he gets stabbed for it because they can see him. <laughs> he, gets, he gets killed for it. He gets, dude, you're not invisible. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, he gets stabbed by a mortal, my Morgul blade, which is basically death. Well, it is death. Yeah, the only a, thing that the only thing that she death. brings, mm -hmm. the only thing she brings to him is an extended lifetime. I mean, as we know at the end, mm -hmm. yeah, you're, I've yeah. been living on borrowed he, time. He, 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 yeah, he is. He is that that poison will slowly get to his heart, or, or it's kind of like Iron Man. <laughs> um, I would say it's exactly like Iron Man. Very much equals <laughs> Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so anyways, I am um, gonna. So I, yeah. I'm gonna. 
go ahead and bounce at six thirty. So I've got um, okay. I've That's got some fine. I've got to jump off of too. Um, but oh. thank you. Well, for thank you so having... much for being here yeah. for the time being. Yeah, yeah, appreciate. Uh, and then appreciate next time we'll do some shorter, shorter, like like Buffy season one or something. That, that'd be oh, short. Man. I'm down. Buffy pilot, we can do easy. <laughs> I'm talking about the entire series in one. I mean, ty, I mean, entire season in one go. And we could talk about it. I want to. I like. I like to watch it while we do it. Like this one, I was watching. Um, but we, <laughs> we can figure something out. All right. Well, sure. I'm gonna pass. You, you can still yeah, listen have fun. to it later on. Sure. Yep. And say no, Bye. wrong. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you later. All right. <laughs> Oh, it's just me and you. The uh, yeah, it's just it's the uh, yeah. he 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 got shot with four arrows, you know. I mean, <laughs> right, right, exactly, yeah. So, yeah. um, sorry you uh, didn't have much to say or anything like that. <laughs> we kind of mu- it's it, it's it's fine there, Falco. It, it's absolutely fine by me, that man. Honestly, it was kind of mm-hmm. interesting kind of getting uh, some feedback from Edge Lord there and yourself. Mm-hmm. From the yeah, movie, yeah. Um, to kind of you know bounce some things off, and you know, I mean, I w- it would be nice to kind of you know, um, have <laughs> yeah, you know, have Edge Lord in to, when we kind of we get to the you know kind of, kind of like the scene, like you know, kind of like your gift here, just you know, where <laughs> at that point in the movie, you know, where yes, you know, Frodo or Bilbo had given Frodo Sting a sword and. Oh, that oh, kind yeah. of like, you know, kind of like that um, armor in a way. Um, so, uh, so let's see. Um, yeah. So as soon as uh, so as Frodo gets uh, stabbed, he gets um, the Memorial Blade. Uh, Aragorn comes in and saves the day. And oh. this is one another one of those scenes that I'm like mm, makes me tilt my head a little bit, because. Um, so what happens is like he he goes in between all of them because he has fire in his hands, which is um, which I've learned from Lord of the Rings type of lore that um, it actually stays off evil creatures at night is his fire, mm-hmm. and I'm like oh, but it's not like um, fire keeps them at bay. It does not it does not protect you from them. Right. So right. Um, so he gets around and suddenly like. The, um, one of them, I think it's the Witch King, and, uh, he's, like, he, he sort of loses track of Aragorn, like, how you were, you were fighting him, and then he throws his, the, uh, the torch in his face, and he gets stuck there for a little while, and, like, the heck? Yeah. <laughs> like, how does he get stuck in there? Is there, like, a, I, I don't know, it's just, I guess it wouldn't look good if it just came down. Like, I don't know, it just feels... That, that that part's a little iffy to me, but it's still really cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. Yeah, oh. yeah, definitely. I mean, it's you know just just the way that the way that they did the movie or the yeah. movies in general, oh, yeah. per se. So they definitely got better as they um, went along. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, the it, fellowship you know, was my favorite. In, in... <laughs> so. I mean, it, it is kind of amazing how, you know, kind of, because again, kind of going back to the scene where, you know, sure. um, the, the ring was in the center of the chamber, you know, where the, before Frodo took it and all that, how they, how, uh, I forget his name, but the, the dwarf, uh, you know, tried to, Gimli, mm. Gimli, I, yeah, how he tried to smash the smash ring or just that. break it with his axe, but it, to no avail. To no avail, that to no avail yeah. In fact, yeah. here's the thing, though. Um, maybe we can go half of the movie and then do the other half some other time. Hey, yeah. I, I maybe. mean, like, oh, but we, we're almost there. We, we, we can do this again. Like, yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. For, 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 for fellowship. Um, but, um, yeah. so, um, after, because I have a, like, almost encyclopedic knowledge of, of the movie. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. I've seen it yeah. hundreds of times. So I'm like, mm. <laughs> it used to be on TNT a lot. If people who remember mm. what TNT is. Jeez. Yeah, I used to. I used to watch TNT for, you know, shows and all that. So. Was that the one? Yeah, that Monster Madness. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I remember that. 
And they couldn't show yeah. anything, which is why it was kind of lame. <laughs> like, <laughs> get to the like the only reason to watch a horror movie that that was a slash movie was because of the gore. True. So, anyways, before I get too off topic, um, <laughs> so um, he takes Frodo into the wild as he as he continues to creep cl- closer into the. I'm gonna call it the shadow, the the shadow realm, to be short. Plus, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Fan. So it's like, eh, shadow realm, same thing, really. Yeah, um, yeah, it kind of is. So. Yu-Gi's waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Mind crush. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, they, uh, they, and 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 they need to slow it down. So he's looking for king's foil, or um, which is like uh, Sam knows, like that's a weed. And like because again, he's a farmer. He he would know what kind of plant that that is. So right. um, they go look for it, and that's when Erwin uh, uh, comes in, and she uh, tricks, which which is kind of interesting because they have the little foreplay. Is like put, puts a sword to a Strider's neck, and he's like, "Oh, but the ranger off his guard." I'm like, "We got things to do. Do you mind not doing that?" <laughs> <laughs> like and so like uh and so she comes in the uh like we talked about before she comes to frodo's aid with the light of air and Al- alduin i think is, is what it's called um yeah but, but here's the thing though she can't have she she doesn't have that ability because she's she doesn't come from um alduin so mm-hmm. but shh, don't let anybody know so, <laughs> because um, uh, she's actually a daughter of of Elrond, who was from Alduin, so that would make a lot more sense. But whatever, yeah, it, it, it's fine. Um, it's to show off elves, really, and mm-hmm. um, and Sam was like, "Holy crap, it's an elf!" Oh, speaking of elves, we forgot a scene where the wood elves are going to the west. There, um, there's a long line of them. Um, mm. and they're like, and same as like, I don't know why, but it makes me sad, you know? And, um, um, and then, then they're singing a song. Um, I, I forget, you know, it's, um, but still, um, at this very time, it's just inconvenient that they're, le- they're going back to the West where, where, where they yeah. came from to Eleanor or whatever. And, um, right. and you see the right. L's true form too in, in the dream. Uh, that that's why mm-hmm. they seem so un- otherworldly, you know, <laughs> which is yeah. kind of interesting. But back to the yeah. present, not to the past. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they go to, uh, uh, and so she's like, "I'm a faster rider than you. I can get there much faster." And so he doesn't want to put her in danger because we don't know at the time, but we get glimpses of it that they are. In love, and um, right, and and so she rides off with her horse, and and they chase him. Oh, by the way, um, he says like there were five races behind you. Where the other four are, I don't know. You see, that's a line that actually indicates um, to, uh, to the book. You see, um, mm. Gandalf has already made it to um, um, has already made it off the tower, even though it hasn't happened in the movie yet. Right. So, um, what happens is, is that he goes to the, um, uh, believe it or not, Gandalf is at Weathertop right now, mm. where he came from, and that's where the other race are. They ambush Gandalf. Mm. And so, like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense, because they said that in the movie. Yeah. I was like, how come the other four aren't with them? Mm. Right. And so he makes that out of there alive, and so he, um, and then they meet at Rivendell, and he tells how he escaped. Um, so, uh, you get to the river part where they get drowned away, and, um, by the water horse spell, which is, um, have, have you ever heard of the Third Age game? Hmm. No. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a, um, turn-based RPG, like mm-hmm. Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy, Mm. Where it takes place in um, in the um, 
it's called the Third Age because it's called uh, because it takes place in the Third Age of Lord of the Rings during the War of the Ring. Mm. And uh, one of the first things you see is the Water Horse spell being used in battle against the Ring Wraith because it happened in mm. the movie, so you want to see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a weird game, like it really is. <laughs> I'm gonna spoil the crap out of it right now <laughs> because. The thing is, though, you know who the last boss is of the of the Lord of the Rings Third Age game is. Mm. Just just take a stab at it. Hmm. Mm. Who do you think the last boss is? I, I'm 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 honestly I'm drawing a blank. Oh no! Just guess whatever. I mean, uh... you could guess Mordor itself. I, I, I don't care. Like, <laughs> like you know. I, I, I couldn't see more. Ed 209? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Ed 209. Uh, no, it's not Ed 209. Um, uh, well, j- just take a guess. I, I, I need to guess. Because it, it, it'll get better if you actually guess. And if it's right. Or if it's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. What, what's that <laughs> demon's name that um, uh, towards, you know, when they're in the mines? Oh, you, know? you mean the Belrog? Hmm. Belrog, yeah. Uh, no, that's not the last boss. Like, uh, it, it, it's, um, uh, you do fight the Belrog because if you're going to play Lord of the Rings game, you're going to fight the Belrog. <laughs> right. Even though it wouldn't make any sense. Because if, uh, you know, because... In the uh, they they say in the mines like swords don't do anything against it like it's just it's worthless yeah. and you fight it with like swords right. and stuff and it's like this is uh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. so the last boss of the third age game is the eye of Sauron <laughs> the eye the eye seriously yes you fight on the tower next to the eye you are in its face so to speak. And you and you hit it with a sword. <laughs> it is stupendously stupid. <laughs> that yeah, I yeah. I'd have to agree. That is rather oh, no, it's, one of the it's, dumbest it's, things. It's hilarious. <laughs> like okay, oh uh, it is kind of dumb that like uh, everything set up in Lord of the Rings is kind of dumped on in this game. So, but mm. but 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 anyway, let's get back to the film. It, it's just a... I want to play that on, on on that on stream as well. It's just a crazy game. Like... Yeah. <laughs> so, um, also the um, the Two Towers game and the uh, Return of the King game. Like, th- those were good beat-em-up games. Mm. Mm. And they were a co-op. I, so, that, that was fun. I could never get anybody to play it with me that was any good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would wipe out entire legions of orcs by myself, and the other guy's like, I need invincibility. I'm like, uh. I'm like, because that was a cheat. I'm like, wow, you, you need a cheat code to complete the game. Sure. And Why do no. you suck? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, back to the film. Right, right. right um, so, um, so uh, yeah. they, they get to the. Um, they get to the river, they get swept away. And then you find out that, like, uh, that Gandalf did escape by, by the eagles. But, you see, the reason why... Um, so, a lot of people have a criticism of Saruman keeping Gandalf alive is that, why didn't he just kill him? He could have killed Gandalf, therefore he wouldn't be able to help anybody. Right. Like, that makes sense. But here's mm-hmm. the thing, though. Saruman likes um, Gandalf too much. Um, he wants Gandalf to join him. He doesn't yeah. want him to. Um, he doesn't want to kill him. He wants him to join him. Right. And when he runs away, he's like, "Okay, then we're, we're enemies now. Next time I see you, you're dead." So right. Like, yeah. Like, you have chosen right. death. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why you know. Again, with the scene where you go under his tower. Mm-hmm. You know, under Sauron's tower, and he creates whatever the hell those things are. Yeah, so. the orakai. Yeah, these uh, they're a mix orakai, of goblins and called. orcs. Yeah, mm. yeah. How he, he he used them to go seek out 
Frodo and the yeah. others. Uh, mm. uh, to, to, to find the, the ring. And he doesn't let him know it's the ring, too. Uh, right. Which is funny. Because, again, um, in, 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 in the book, believe it or not, um, even though it's in the movie, uh, Saruman is totally on Sauron's side. Like, um, and Gandalf says, like, he doesn't share power, and he's not going to share it with you. Like, the, um, your, your short time goal of being in power is not going to, it's not going to come to fruition. Because, mm -hmm. because when Sauron comes for you, he, he's not going to share his power. You're just going to die. Exactly. Right. Right. I mean, Gandalf did warn him of that. He did state that. Yeah. Right. And so, but well, in the, the wizard duel. But in the book, um, uh, uh, Saruman planned to betray Sauron. And uh, mm. that's why he, um, uh, he was actually searching for the ring. Because if he ever got the ring, he would actually be in control. Like, that's mm. like Gandalf would be. Mm. Even more so if it were Saruman. Mm. But, anyways, that's the book. Um, <laughs> in fact, um, it even says in the book that um, if he had the ring, he would control the ring race. Mm. Uh, so, anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, that's that's different. Oh, and... no. I mean, I've got. I have all three of the books. I've just never read them. Oh, I've never read them either. That's the thing. I'm 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 watching lore videos. That's it. Like, and it's kind mm. of interesting because they did. Uh, <laughs> what if Gandalf took the ring, and he ends up mm. being a worse tyrant than Sauron ever would be? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I can imagine so. I can imagine because like the ring with his own horrible. powers would be insane. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and so. Anyways, um, the Vibe makes it and he explains, and they all have this reunion, especially with Bilbo. He sees Bilbo again. And, um, and they spend a few days there, but Sam is, like, already packed and going ready to, uh, to go home to the Shire. Mm. And he's like, uh, Frodo is like, what are you doing? Like, um, I thought you wanted to see the elves. He's like, I, and Sam was like, I do. And he's like, more than anything. He's like, yeah. I really want to, but we've done our job, right? The ring here is safe in Rivendell. Let's go back to the Shire. And even Frodo was like, yeah, you're right. Let's go home. And this is before they go to the council. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I don't know if the, this does lead into the, um, the other parts of the movie that, um, in fact... <laughs> Um, the extended edition I have ends when he, um, when, um, oh, wait, no, it hasn't ended yet. <laughs> it hasn't ended yet. And so what happens is that, um, he, he, he makes sure that, um, if, uh, he, he doesn't share his uh, possessions yet with Frodo because he just thinks he's going back to the Shire. So he doesn't need the, um, sting or the, uh, Mithril chain shirt. And so, um, so they, they, the be one of the best parts of the movie, which is just a talking scene, but it's a really mm. good talking scene, is, is the council. Mm. Boromir shows up, Legola shows up, Orlando, you know, or or Orlando Bloom. And, right. um, um, let's see, Gimli shows up, Jane Reese Davies, which, which is his real name. Um, I know that from a joke from Mystery of Science Theater, um, mm. which is, um, their... Uh, there's this film called Final Justice, and uh, mm -hmm. and of course they're making fun of it, and uh, they yeah. go and they go by this bazaar. And a, if you don't know, a bazaar is a place where you buy stuff, you know. In it's 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 kind of like a marketplace in third world countries, yeah. <laughs> like sort of. Right. Yeah, they right. still have them here. Right. Exactly. But, you know, they're not called bazaars. <laughs> they're called not bazaars. Hey, but anyways. <laughs> But, um, so, uh, there's this bizarre scene in, in Malta, which is a island off the coast of Italy. I know that because they mention it, like, all the time. And, like, here in Italy and, 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 and uh, Malta, and, like, okay, I get it. You're in Malta. <laughs> like, so, um, 
And so, like, there, there's this long shot of, there's this tracking shot of this, of, of, of the bazaar. And all of a sudden, you see this really short guy with, with a beard. And it says, John Reese Davies for sale, you know, <laughs> which is the guy. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> he's Gimli. Hmm? So it's like, oh, okay, I get it. They're, they're saying that uh, um, uh, Gimli is for sale. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's the joke. And like, <laughs> so that's how I know his name is. is mm. And so, so I always remember it because of that joke. Mm. Don't, 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 yeah, I know. It was, it was a dumb thing to talk about. <laughs> it's, hey, no, it, I mean, it, it brings to the point of the movie, so. Yeah, it really does. It's just kind of funny. It's like, hey, you, you want to own this dwarf? <laughs> So uh, and anyways, um, and and dwarf is not a derogatory term. That's their race. That's what they're called. Tolkien mm. said it, not me. If you want to do it, he's he he nah, he's he's never gonna take that back. <laughs> Mostly because um, oh that's right he's dead. <laughs> Dang it. But <laughs> yeah, um, so they all go to the council and they have their meeting about what to do about the ring. And so uh, Elrond asks Frodo to bring up the ring to the center. And um, he's like, and everybody's like has a different reaction to it. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm like it, that's the ring. And, and Boromir has the most interesting reaction because he's like, it's, it's true. It's like, so it is true. It is the ring. You know, like it's, 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 it's not just a rumor. Yeah. And so, um, uh, and so. It, uh, I keep saying and so. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. And so. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's one of those connecting words that I use all the time. When, when, when I tell stories. <laughs> I need to get out of that habit of it. <sighs> I, I was about to say it again, too. <laughs> At least cut yourself, um, man. When it comes to the... The, uh, the effect of the ring... Um, uh, Boromir is the first to sit, <laughs> and so yes, I, I do say that a lot. Uh, Ed, thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing up a, a, a wound. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, so, dang it, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, man. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, oh. Boromir is, um, he speaks up like, hey, maybe we should use it. Like, um, uh, maybe we should uh, t uh, give it to Gondor and we can use it against the enemy. Like, um, and Argon speaks up. Ar Aragorn, not, not Acorns. Right. Ar Aragon, if you want to call him that way, or... Not like that dumb movie, the Drum Dragon movie. Like, yeah, Aragon. Like, yeah. Never speak of that again. Um, <laughs> and like he goes, like, um, none of us can wield it. Nobody can, because no matter what you do with it, no matter what good, it will just it will turn out bad. No, no, no matter what you do with it, because right, men right, are because the most. The ring has, has, yeah, because that's what they were saying. That's what basically they were saying is because the ring has. That level of power to corrupt mm -hmm. anybody, no matter how, how pure of intentions they are, the ring can corrupt the most purest of souls. Yeah, especially um, men. Like uh, men are the most corruptible, especially because yeah. out of all else, they desire power, which is what's said at the right. beginning of the movie. Right. And in fact, as soon as Boromir took suits his hands, I mean, he sees it for the first time. He starts to draw near it, and he's like, yeah. It's like, can I just have it? Kind of mode. <laughs> like, right. And Gandalf, like, right. again, like, comes to the rescue and speaks black speech, which is like, which is like the N-word on Twitter. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, like, oh my gosh, you were, uh, Gandalf's been canceled. You know? <laughs> and like, and like, and, and pretty much like, uh, um, Elrond has that kind of reaction. He's like, the those, those the black speech has not been heard here ever. Like, why did you do that? And he did have a point because Gandalf is like, if you don't, 
if you don't um, take care of this now, you'll hear the you'll hear those words in every corner of Middle Earth. Hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. So and the other one is like, so we have one choice: is to destroy it. There is no other choice. Right. And I'm like, and then uh, 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 Boromir speaks up again because he comes from Gondor, which is uh, right next door to 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 a Mordor. And he mm-hmm. even says it. It's like, uh, the blood of my people keep you people safe. And he's not wrong. Like, right. they 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 just won back Osgiliath from the from the orcs. Like, it's 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 in the two towers, um, the extended cut where um, mm-hmm. uh, Demethor, the uh, the steward of Gondor, says to Boromir, and he's like, um, I want you to go down to the uh, to Rivendell to see about this Ring of Power, and you need to bring it back. Um, it's like, oh, okay. And then he hates Faramir. <laughs> I'm like, oh. But Boromir loves Faramir, like, in, in that scene. Which is why mm. people say to watch extended editions. <laughs> but still, I, I, not everybody has those. I understand. Mm. But, yeah. <laughs> but still, it's a good scene. And it really yeah. puts more of Boromir being this person who is beloved by his people. You know, because he cares about his people. He really does. But you see, that's his good intention by the ring. He wants to do. He wants to break the Gondor so Gondor could be safe. But the ring would make him do it in a in a way that would uh, either give it up or to gain power. Like it wouldn't be to, yeah. uh, even though the intention is to save his people. And because of that, he comes off as a bad person when you first meet him. Like, but but he's not. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love Boromir as a character. I would do a good character design of Boromir. Like it's he's really, <laughs> he's really like as much as he doesn't get much screen time, he has a lot of character for um for that amount of screen time. So, anyways, um, um, Legolas speaks up. He's like, "Have you heard nothing of? Oh wait, I'm sorry, I missed the great speech by Boromir, <laughs> which is, uh, which is the meme." No one simply walks into Mordor. <laughs> and um, he goes, there's not just uh, not just orcs there. There's an energy that never sleeps. There is a presence. And the air itself is a, a vile, like, um, a, there's a vile air. It, like, you can't right. breathe it in. It's, 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 right. it's volcanic. You know, it's like, like... He's like, not with a thousand men could you do this. Not with ten thousand men could you do this. It is folly, which means like, right. you know, which, which basically means like, no matter what you do, try to destroy it, trying to go into Mordor, uh, it, it it's a suicide mission. Right. right and precisely. Legolas speaks up and he's like, "Have you heard what nothing Elrond just said? And a ring must be destroyed." And he's like, "And get and and like." Gimli finally speaks up <laughs> and he's like I'd rather have it see of them than the hands of an elf <laughs> he's like never trust an elf dumb elf mm-hmm. like I'm like where did this come from yeah. oh yeah, yeah I that forgot was, that was always the thing is the two races of dwarves and elves they don't like they're never her friends they're, they're, they are pretty much racist against you in fact uh, dwarves are racist against elves which Make elves racist against dwarves, right? <laughs> like it, door struck first. <laughs> like the elves are like, yeah, whatever. The doors are like, why didn't you help us? I don't know, cause I don't know. You cause it yourself, <laughs> right? I'm like, oh man. <laughs> but um, so and you did mention it before, but I want to go back to it. Let's reverse time a little bit. And they said the ring must be destroyed. And Gimli is like, "Well, what are we waiting for?" And he picks up his axe and, st- and strikes the uh, strikes the ring. Right. He like, right, well, he tries to strike it, but then it shatters. His oh, axe yeah. just the axe shatters into pieces. And like, and then you hear the ring speak, Shiku. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. He's like, <laughs> it's like it's almost like it's laughing at them. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, good, nice try. And, yeah. um, <laughs> so, uh, um, 
It's like it cannot be destroyed. Uh, uh, Gain all sudden glowing uh, by any hands. It was forged in Mount Doom. It must be destroyed in Mount Doom. You know, right? And right, so, exactly. also oh, and during this argument, during this huge argument is, is blowing out where they're all talking and arguing with each other. There's, it's almost like the ring and Sauron are just having like, yes, this is what I want. This is the race exactly. against each other. Mm. Exactly, exactly right. This is what mm. Sauron wanted was for them to fight amongst each other and all that. So, Until... and in because in the beginning you see how mm-hmm. Gandalf didn't want to necessarily get into the fray of it, but then he ends up getting into the midst of everything, mm. and you see how Frodo mm. starts to look at the ring, and he just calmly says. I'll do, I'll do it. it. And that, but uh, there's also something to that as well, uh, because uh, not to I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna piggyback off your point a little bit uh, to um, uh, to say that when he um, when he said it the first time, no one hears him, and right. then he goes, well, right, that's I will take he it, said it what, what a little louder." About, yeah, the second time around, and you see how how Gandalf just he's like. As this no. utter despair on his face. He's like, no. He's relieved, and then he's like, I don't want you to do this. But right. But it goes to, he has to. <laughs> like exactly. And, and that, in that amount of seconds, it's it's written on his face, you know. And, right. Um, right. Just just Gandalf's expression for that scene, that like fifteen mm-hmm. twenty seconds seen everything in just one shot yeah it, it, it's really good i mean it, uh i will say of all those scenes i have criticisms with they're over uh, over uh shined by the uh by little scenes like this where they get so much emotion out of so because really by the book standards we're we're going in a hurry like we're it's next scene next scene next scene next scene according to the book but in right. the movie timeline, we're going really slow, and like, right. which is just right. Um, landscape shots are useful, and everything else. And so, yeah. at the very end of it, when he says he'll take it, I I, I love the scene where um, they all gather together. They're all standing behind this guy, especially when, like, Aragon is like. Um, he was like, in life or death, you have my sword. And Legolas mm-hmm. is like, you'll have my bow. And it's like, Gilman's like, and my axe. And Legolas is like, he rolls his eyes. <laughs> I'm like, sure. <laughs> like, right. And then, like, Go- and then Boromir's supposed to say, if, if this will the console, then Gondor will see it done. I'm like, oh, good. He still stands for Gondor. And then Sam shows up, and he's like, he was submitted to a secret meeting. How do you know? Like, what? <laughs> And then the other two show up. It's like, oh my gosh! Like, well, I guess we can't say no to the hobbits, <laughs> right? And like, nine companions. Um, you should be the Fellowship of the Ring. And then, and then I think it's Pippin. He's like, he's like, great. Where are we going? And right. the other one stares at him. It's like, the heck, dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's when the extended right, edition is... ends for disc one. <laughs> and it's like oh my gosh it's like two hours <laughs> it's like the stream it's like two hours long <laughs> yeah so um so i think i'll end it there for part one um and that seemed like a good place to end it because the stuff in moria yeah. oh my gosh moria is the best part of this movie oh <laughs> my gosh the balrog the um the Borium fight room. Um, fight Borium. Wait. <laughs> fight Borium room. Uh, yeah. Getting lost. Gollum. Um, the part where they have to enter. Calagras. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, where, 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 the, you know, where they... Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Kind of like where they... Leave the decision up to Frodo. Oh mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, mm. um, and plus it gave me a chance to rave about how good Boromir really is, even though he's perceived <laughs> as the bad guy. Like, 
Yeah. Because if you actually watch the Fellowship, because you can actually watch it again if you want. I know, harsh homework, but... <laughs> I mean, it's, but it's fine. I actually wouldn't mind watching neither Fellowship and actually <laughs> neither the other two I. again. Actually, I just got to <laughs> dig for them. Um, so, uh, if you actually look at the movie itself, Bormir actually cares about the Hobbits a lot. Like, um, he says this will be the death of the Hobbits. He, um, he helps the Hobbits jump. He protects the Hobbits, um, when they're attacked by the Orakai. Um, he, um, he helps train them because he knows he'll need it. You know, it's like there's a, he even dies for them. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Yep. It's really like uh, Boromir really is a good guy, and if you see the extended scene, you yeah. know how good he really is. It's just still until he comes to the Fellowship and sees the ring that all that stuff comes out, all those mm-hmm. negative things come out. Mm. Mm. Like, oh man. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like characters are flawed or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, not, I mean, not characters' flaws. I mean, like flaws in the. I mean, like um, that character has flaws that make them a character. I right. should say because right. if but uh, that's what makes them so good, though. Exactly. Is yeah, that yeah, yeah? So even right. you can't make flaws. a character because you can't make a character too perfect without some bit of flaws in them. Ray Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Batwoman. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I think uh, I, I need to go get something to eat. Oof, it's, been, right. yeah, it's been a while. I'm probably going to go grab a little chat myself and then I'm probably going to... All right, I'm going to go get McDonald's you know, probably. Yeah, I'm um, probably going to jump on my PS4. I'm going to continue um, <laughs> my Final Fantasy Nine grinding that I'm doing on there right now. Oh, my gosh. So, what, what, what part yeah. are you at? I'm on what would be disc four to where, um, okay. you know, where four? I haven't quite, quite gone to the tree, you know, oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. yet. I do that so just to grind. Like... Yeah. Well, because the, the best way to do it actually, I find is instead of fighting those yams is they can eliminate oh a party member. Those yams are you impossible know. to beat. <laughs> they are, but, um, you know, the, the easiest, the second, the easiest place actually is, um, um uh, that water place with the dragon that seemed to be right good too right the grand dragons you use Kina's level five death kills oh. them instantly oh I just use ice like just die <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of the best places to go is actually a forest but it's not next to a town where it just has birds and grand dragons like oh mm-hmm. so, there's no cat right, cause I, like there's right, no cause cat I, you have to feed gyms to Ugh. Mm. Yeah, because all I fight is either Grand Dragons or Gimme Cats. Gimme Cats. I hate the eat. Gimme Cat. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why um, I, I go through the tree, and then one, once you go through the entire place, you go through it once, and then um, you go back and fight Iron Giants and, uh, uh, and, and, and the Chimeras. Because they give out XP, like, really good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. You can tell well, I know my nine. So, <laughs> well, because well, especially because I'm I'm trying to build up everybody to where they got every ability and all that, and I'm gonna yes, you're gonna go need after it for Amza. You know, <laughs> you know, because well, I'm gonna go after yeah, Ozma. So, because the two characters I'm planning on, well, the my 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 party I'm gonna consist of to fight Ozma is gonna be Zidane, of course, because yeah. can't take Zidane out. Yeah. Garnet, Vivian, Amaranth. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, because Vivi and Amaranth have a return magic ability, and if I get equipped all my characters with, like, either something that absorbs shadow or neutralizes it, and with Vivi and Amaranth returning magic, every time he would cast, like, a spell or something like that, like a flare or doomsday, it's, I, they'll Doomsday's reflect it back him, too. Doomsday is so. never the problem. It's that um, it's that uh, miasma. I forget what it's called. It just does status effects and does pfft, a bunch of damage, and it's such bull. And I'm like, that's wrong. 
But you see, mm-hmm. here's the thing about Ozma. His AI is extremely like um, adaptable. If you're well, a shadow, I've, I know I've, I've yeah, found like, him and I've beat him in the PlayStation One version, so I know how he how he's tough, tough he is. Like because so. his toughness is not because of his HP; it's because like his AI detects what you have and then reacts to it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like oh, no wonder he's terrible. Plus that Kiraga. Like, mm. did you do the quest to make him reachable? Mm. Uh, there's a few quests you can do to um, so people can hit him with melee. Mm. Hello? Well, you gotta hit him with everything, kind of thing. Is it's like you got him with, with like physical and magic. So yeah, yeah, it's... you have to do the card quest, I think, or something like that. You don't like... have to do the card per se. No, I've never done those. <laughs> I'm like, meh. So, anyways, yeah, I, I, I see you're on the Ford disc, and I like choco hunting a little bit. <laughs> it's a way to get free items. <laughs> hey, I you have to do the choco about hot cold side quest hot in cold, order yep. to even get to, you know, to even get to Ozma. So you can't get. I know, yes, true, true. Any other way, so. I you know. I know that early on in disc one, I do the choco hot and cold as soon as I can. Because um, that lets you get future items quicker, and it uh, gives you items for free. You don't have to spend money on them. <laughs> right. <laughs> and right. it lets you travel the place without getting attacked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, you fight exactly. that uh, that dragon by the gate, and you can just heal yourself, and boop. You're, you're good. <laughs> right. right. Right, exactly. So... Actually, yeah, I yeah. lose the hunting quest on purpose in order to get in in order to get the staff that gives Vivi um, thunder ah. So I'm like, like, or, or like, I I think it's the thunder um, ring. It's really oh, the, good. Yeah, the, the coral ring. Yeah, the coral ring that gives him ability to cast the second level of lightning, which is very useful. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like. Uh, but you don't get that if you win. And I'm like, I don't want to win then. <laughs> right, because what you can do is, um, you know, because again, I took some of the strategy from H.C. Bailey a little bit. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, because he did a full playthrough as well. And uh, You went with, down um, in volume. He... Hmm? You went down in volume. Yeah, he did somewhat. Um, I mean, his jail's picked up, though. He's already... Near the one million mark, so I have no idea what happened. But anyways, <laughs> I think I will now get off for real. <laughs> thank, right, you, take, thank you, thank you, Edge Lord, and they, Kevin Case. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No uh, problem for taking on this journey it. because woof, I could have done this longer, <laughs> but I'm sweating in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it got like twenty degrees higher uh, in my room. Get you, yeah. Catch you oh, now you're... Man. Oh, okay, I can hear you better now. Hmm. <laughs> Probably just, I don't know, it, it's now, the Bluetooth headphones that I'm using sometimes or something like that. I don't know. I guess you're further away. I don't know. But, um... Yeah. Anyways, um, enough about, um... Remember, don't lay a finger on my Butterfinger. <laughs> right. See you guys later. <laughs> Take care. See ya.